Mason, I know you know this, but the loot crate theme for September is speed. Quickest characters and vehicles there is. Yep. And okay. I, know, I know you also know this. If you visit Luke... Turtle Man. Is he the... Long-time f- villain of The Flash. Oh, yeah. He ain't that fast, though. No, he's one of those... Ca- no, he's, his superpowers that he's really slow. But it's what... Remember... Because remember... he got hit in the head? Yeah. So he has an acquired brain injury. No. And Flash beats him up. This is going very well. I don't like this, Mason. I don't no, like look, all... <laughs> his superpowers, he's really slow, but it's one of those characters where they had to sort of write it like that is a disadvantage to The Flash. Like, he's like, Turtle Man's going so slow that I can't catch him. I'm too... No, just just move at a normal pace, Flash, well, and you'll right. catch him. Yeah, You're not an idiot. Maybe you have the acquired brain injury. <laughs> now we can't edit that out. <laughs> True. Uh, anyway, but if you visit lootcrate.com slash weeklyplanet and use the promo code weeklyplanet, one word, you get $3 off any subscription box. And I say Lutecrate, any, Mason, if you're listening, could you also make it so... If you use the code Weekly Planet or one word, yeah, or one word, <laughs> that's right. We you also both. get the discount as well. But obviously, try if you're listening to this, try the first one. Try first. the first one first. But yeah, because the second you... one's just nonsense. That's that right. I've invented now. <laughs> They're pretty quick. They're, They're pretty quick. To requests, They're great, but, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. But the reason I say three dollars off any subscription box is because they have a, ho- a plethora, Mason, of things that you might enjoy. They do. They have regular loot crate, which is pretty great. And the reason I say that Lord's is because great. that's right. Because we got last month's box, which was uh. I can't remember the theme exactly. It might have been it was robots. Anti-heroes. Anti-heroes, was yeah. it? Yeah. Well, regardless, <laughs> we've got a couple of things here which which Oh, we got which look, we got Loot Crate DX. That's right. Which is like the super fancy It's the box. premium one. It's $100 yeah. worth of value. It is more expensive, but yeah. you get That's why they uh, only send us one of them. That's exactly right. <laughs> Cuz they're like you're worth about half a man each. And we're like, "Oh, all right." <laughs> we got we split it. Yeah, we split it. What do you, what's what's the item well, I got, you a, I, got out? I remember these as a kid. I I think I have one of these still in my parents' house, so I'm going to put it's them worth, both see if it's worth anything. No, I'm going to I'm going to put them together and make them kiss. But it's <laughs> it's the those these Gundam like action yeah, figures that you assemble yeah, yourself. Yeah. So many pieces. I know. But how, got, they look awesome though. He's got some sort of glaive. What is that? What, yeah. What's the what's the big thing he's got? I, I want to say glaive, but I've never heard the word glaive before. Until I just said it now. Yeah. And now, <laughs> I'm definitely not sure if that's the real term for it. And, and oh, I have... Uh, the, he's I, like a samurai-themed Gundam robot. Yeah, yeah. And Gundam Bar- Barbatos. Very good. Yeah, Barbatos. And I have a... Romanticos. I have a Loot Crate exclusive uh, Gypsy Danger Jaeger figure Pacific from Rim. Pacific Rim, which is really nice. awesome. Yeah. So that's, that's sitting on my bloody desk, mate. What's the Australian one called? I don't know. It's probably like, get a shrimp, mate, or some... <laughs> some yeah. The, the, Australian, the Australian Jaeger, which was piloted by two British men. That's <laughs> right, I yeah. recall correctly. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, the, the worst <laughs> Australian accents ever committed to film, I feel. Yeah. Worse than your Ned, Ke- worse than your Mick Jagger and Ned Kelly. Oh, good worse Lord. Worse than um, Paul Hogan doing anything. <laughs> Robert Daddy Jr. does a good one. Yeah, okay, this one's true. okay. Yeah, okay. But yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But yeah, look... Uh, for this month's one, if if you did go to the DX, like I said, there's a bunch of them. We're, we're just going to pick a different one each month that we, we can talk about um, to mix it up. Uh, they're doing speed as well, and the items that they've got is Back to the Future, Transformers, but they've got the original logo. So I'm hoping oh. it's not part of the... I'm, I'm assuming it's not part of the new movie. But uh-huh. You never know, Mason. Well, and there's a big resurgence of like... Retro, retro stuff. stuff. Well, yeah, the, yeah. The, do you know the Titans have returned? There's billboards in Melbourne that are like Transformers Titans Return. So there's like a Fortress Maximus. I there's do like, like a, Fortress Maximus. There's Magic a Power Maximus. Master Optimus Prime. It's kind of, it's kind okay. Nice. I might get one. Yeah, you can get one. Make him kiss. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> and the other thing is Mad Max. Nice. But yeah, like I said, uh, lootcrate.com slash weekly planet. But I'll, I'll take it. Sure. <laughs> and weekly planet, one word for $3 off or that other thing that you said earlier. So let's see. We got to do the show now, Mason. All right, fine, God. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News Shooting up your butthole The Weekly Planet The Weekly Planet Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Hello, Weekly Planet Hello, it is me Official it's podcast me, Gundam, bah, bah, of comicbookmovie.com What are you doing here? Where we talk movies, here? comics, mm, 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 TV shows My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday With me as always my host Nick Mason. Welcome, Nick Mason, to the real 150th Thank you. episode. Ah, oh, I was just going to do a thing. This is the real one. <laughs> well, you, good work. Episode 152, you've made it 150 episodes. That's Congratulations. right. Congratulations. Because as you know, I've, I've been awake oh, for two. Let's, go, let's, let's listen back to some classic James moments from his 150th episode. Roll, roll the tape. I, I hate Coriander. <laughs> no, not not the Teen Titans character. The, the Spice, I hate it. And for some reason... I'm airing my grievances on a podcast about superheroes. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. I hate this guy 
from my high school <laughs> that I haven't spoken to in 10 years. I'm Why my, is he doing so many sit-ups on Facebook? I'm airing my grievances on this <laughs> superhero podcast for some reason. Anti-microbe. Anti-microbe. <laughs> anti it, it doesn't... It's it's okay when you're sweating it. <laughs> oh, so many great memories. So many good memories. Yes. Thanks for putting that together, by no the way. No problem. <laughs> Took hours. And your lady friend was being kind enough to get us a bloody on-air yeah, professional right? radio, like for a, like a professional radio man would have. That's right. It's right, right next to light. our right next to our neon Budweiser sign in Correct. the man cave. Yeah, yeah. Do you think there's too much lights in this room now? No, more neon. More I neon, think. it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Mason, we've got to, we've got to talk news. Okay. For this week, if we must. We must. Now there was a report this week that Craig, Daniel Craig was re- reportedly offered. Well, ha- I honestly thought you were going to say Craig David there. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> early two thousands. British R&B superstar line beard. Craig David. Uh, such a line beard. Such a great line beard. Uh, he was reportedly offered $150 million for two more Bond films. Wow. Uh, now, Vanity Fair, though, wrote an article that says that they reached out to their sources and say this is untrue. Uh-huh. So, look, it's probably not true. It's, it's, yeah. it's rumour, whatever. But what, do you think this is something that Sony would entertain? Are they even going to get $150 million back on the next couple Well, that's, that's of Bond a good movies? question. Because it's not like, would you even say that Craig is at the peak of his Bond power no. anymore? And no. he's going to look like he doesn't want to be there. Yeah. He's going right. to have the face of a man who's only doing it for $150 million. Imagine that face. Yeah. He's got Can the f- you even imagine? No. It? Actually, I'd kind of want to see that. He's got the face of a potato who doesn't want to be in a Bond film. That's yeah. how I see him. But he's yeah. wearing a lot of very expensive moisturiser. Boy, is he. Which is very important. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm. the last time, because on the press junket for Spectre, he was like, if I did another one, I'd kill myself. Yeah. Like he said those exact words. Like he was going to slit his wrists or yeah, something. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But, uh, I mean, he's got one more contracted. Yeah. He could get, he, and regardless, he, he could get out of it. You know I imagine I mean? there's a tanty clause. I'm sure there if is. If he throws a tanty, <laughs> he's allowed out. Do you, do you think he's done? Yeah, because his his arc is finished. Yeah, and I think at this point they're not gonna they wouldn't give him a standalone where he does a mission and then he's done. No, they would want a, they want they'd want another three movie arc. I would yeah, think. yeah, that's right, it's, or at least another two movie. I don't think he's not he doesn't I don't think he's gonna want to do it because he he walked away at the end, didn't he? he yeah, he met a girl and he he didn't kill his brother. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. If I that was that what happened? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And look, he got a great discount on printing. On A4 did. printing, black and white. Black and white. That's mm-hmm. right. But uh, look, I I like him. I know you, you feel the same. His bonds were never better than Casino Royale. Correct. They had their moments, but mm-hmm. uh, I know you thought they were like rapidly declined in quality. I agree. Yeah. Like in all mm-hmm. of them. With I, myself. Yeah. You said that I said that, and, <laughs> and so you now agreed I'm agreeing with, me with it. Saying yeah. the thing I said mm-hmm. that you said. Yeah. Look, it's probably not true, but I wouldn't put put a past Sony to to like entertain this idea because, yeah. look, Sony <laughs> they make some they make some decisions, Mason. That's true. From top You're right. to bottom, there is some nonsense going on yeah. there, and I can give you an example of one. Yes, I finally got on the well, we finally got on the press screening list for Sony. Hooray! And they said, "Oh, look, we don't normally do this because we prior, prior, prioritize print that, media." That's going on the next <laughs> yes, 150 <it> episode. <laughs> Let's go on the 300th episode, James <laughs> Spectacular Reel. <laughs> but yeah, they, they prioritise print media, yeah, okay. which is insane. And yeah. I'm not saying that print like we do better than print media. Most print media, I'm sure we don't. Uh-huh. But like you must recognise that that is a ridiculous thing to say. The people wake up in the morning and they check Twitter for news. They don't mm. wake up in the morning and drag themselves to the front door. Yeah. And look at a newspaper. And then yell at their neighbour <laughs> if there's any news. Any mm. news! I do that, but you know. I'm oh, Daniel school. Craig, 150 million, you say? <laughs> what kind of a face would that be? Oh, all right, interesting. Very good. Yeah, I mean, and then you look at what happened with the the email leaks. But you know what? I'm sure if they were leaked, any studio had their emails leaked. I'm sure there'd be a lot of like weird, crazy. Oh, absolutely, shit. yeah, yeah. Because you get to become a movie executive by making a series of insane decisions that somehow pay off. Yeah, that's right. Everybody, Every executive who made crazy decisions that didn't pay off don't work there anymore. Correct. It's just people who have fallen up. It's just John Peters. It's just John Peters over <laughs> and over again, producer of 1989's Batman. Um, but yeah, like, but from all accounts, if you were James Bond for more than a movie, it is just a painful slog from beginning it to end. It seems that you way. Want- Except for Brosnan. Brosnan seemed to love it. Yeah. Even though his Bond films weren't good. Uh-huh. But he seemed to be genuinely yeah. gutted when he lost it. But I think you need some. I think you need someone who's fresh and enthusiastic, yes. and you want that 
enthusiasm and freshness to be stripped away over the course of several years. Right. You want you want them to come in super fresh and enthusiastic. Correct. You want the, the British media and the tabloids to crush them for not being the perfect epitome of Bond yes. for months and months <laughs> and months before the first movie comes out. And it's generally a pretty good one. Yeah, and then, the you, then outing, you want yeah. them to, to be kind of... A bit of a downer yep, because yep. of that, but then the first movie's pretty good, and then you again you want a rapid decline in quality, and then you fire Martin Campbell immediately, mm-hmm. even though he seems to direct the best ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand mm-hmm. what they're doing, but the, but you got to remember also the Bond franchise lies with the Broccoli family mm-hmm. and this and their human broccoli hybrids. Correct, they, they and, know and they do they do a, they do a pretty good job, but um, they're very particular about who they get and how they do it and controlling the brand, which I understand. Mm. I mean, it's a family legacy, uh-huh. but Hey, who knows Mason? I want to, I want to lie the like suave bond, suave bond. Like not, I know people are saying Tom Hiddleston. I don't really particularly want Tom Hiddleston. Uh-huh. He's you know, too oily. He's pretty bloody oily, mate. Look, you know what? He's not, he doesn't always have the Loki hair, No, but I always picture him with a Loki hair <laughs> and he's very oily. That's right. Mm. Yeah. So you know how you kind of... Ian Taylor Swift broke up. I don't know if you know that. I, d- I didn't even know they were going out. No, more or maybe I. I did. I don't know. <laughs> no. It's not important. Doesn't that enter into your mind while you dream? I'm pr- probably... That's, that's how gossip gets in your head now. My neighbour yelled it to me once, actually, I remember. Oh, yeah. When I was checking the news. What kind of morning. face did he make? <laughs> it wasn't a good one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, Mason. You saw the Underworld Blood Wars trailer? Yes, or did I? How about this? How about this? Yeah. I'll tell you some things that happened in the trailer... And you tell me whether I saw it or I'm just making them up. <laughs> okay, well, okay, you ready? Oh, God. All right. Okay, here we go. Did you just watch this? Who knows if I did? Okay, because I watched this like five days ago. Okay, all right. It's largely blue and grey. It's There's a lot of... It's there's, a given. There's a lot of like like blue stone walls. Yes. And it's it's could be in, in, inside a well of some sort. <laughs> Kate Beckinsale's wearing a black leather cat suit. Yep. There's a shirtless wolf man, and he's got lots of like, like, like he's a man, but he's shirtless, and he's wearing like a, like a, like a fur vest, and he's got facial hair, and he goes like ah, like that. Right, right. Um, there's there's wolf man, there's lichens and vampires charging at each other. Okay, yep. Um, Kate Beckinsale machine guns through a wall or a floor and falls through it. Right, good, yep. Um, Scott Speedman's in it. Is he? Did I did I watch the trailer or did I, or did I just remember previous movies? You know what? The trailer, whether or not you watched it or not, uh-huh. it took me like 30 seconds to realise that they were showing footage from the old ones. See? If you've seen it. I don't know. Yeah, Because I'm like, when is this? Have I... I don't, I don't hate him either. I'm just uh-huh. like, I don't... I, I'm, where are we at with this? Yeah, right. Did you watch it? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe... Who... What of all, all those things? What if was said. new footage? What was old footage? Yeah, I genuinely exactly. Don't know. Yeah, I think the first thirty to forty seconds was old footage. Okay. Was just like, do you remember the like and war? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sort of. I guess. Mm. What I like the premise. I like the idea that they're different. I don't like the premise, but I like the way that they're they're strength differently. Like the vampires uh-huh. are faster, not as strong, but they're genuinely smarter. Yeah, and also this, but they're stronger. They're still. Wildly superhumanly strong, yes. and they've got technology and yeah. crazy. Cool and the guns. werewolves don't. They've got nothing. They're more kind of vagabonds. Yeah. But then mm-hmm. there's it's kind of this arms race. They're one shooting bullets that fire light, and the other one shooting silver bullets that <laughs> melt that have liquid whatever. Well, I hate the premise, and I hate everything about. Fair it. Fair enough. But I, I'm just saying, there's something good that could be done with it, and they're all putting them into the bin. Yeah, and they're all just kind of okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. Have you seen all of them? Who knows. Have yeah, I? I don't know. I've seen the first one. I don't know if I've seen two. I've definitely seen the prequel. I've seen with, the first with, one with Hirona Mitra in place of. No, that's three. Oh, that's, that's three. That's a prequel. Okay, and that where they get back um the dude from uh who interviewed Nixon in the Nixon movie Scott Speedman. Yeah, Scott Speedman, mm-hmm. and it's a and it, it's set in the past, and then four's the one where she finds out she has a kid. Oh, or something. Can and vampires the, have kids in this universe? Probably, I guess, if she had a kid. She had one with Scott Speedman, who was also a half vampire, half werewolf blue mm. man. Yeah. And Bill Nye, he got his... Not Bill Nye. Yeah, it is Bill Nye. Yeah. I think of Bill Nye. Bill Nye, he got his face cut off or something. Huh. I don't remember. Mm. Mason, let's do another thing. Okay. James Cameron says Avatar 2, 2 will be about family. All right. And it will follow... Jane Vin Diesel. Correct. <laughs> and The Rock. Michelle Rodriguez is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Who else? To say Paul Walker, he's dead, dead in he? yeah. 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 Anyway, it'll follow Jake and Natiri and their children. Huh. 
So it's going to be a sprawling family saga spanning many movies. Huh. So uh, all that machinery works then. Apparently in so. His, in, his, in his new Avatar in his body. weird clone body, yeah, huh. yeah. There you go. He also said, Cameron, they haven't moved the date. Because remember, this was going to go up against one of the Star Wars I movies. I don't remember that, but And yes. be killed horribly. Uh-huh. Uh, but he said, if we have to move the date, we will. Right. You, you probably should have moved, moved the date. Mate. Move the date. Nobody cares about Avatar. <laughs> Nobody's cared for like 15 years. Wait, 2009. 2009, yeah. Seven years. Feels like 15. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Cameron generally makes good films. Yeah. Avatar's not for me, but I like pretty much everything else that he's done. Mm-hmm. Let's find out whether he's gone insane yes. when this first one comes out. Maybe, re- maybe, he'll prove us, maybe he'll prove us wrong. I want him to. And you know what? He's the kind of guy that could. Mm. Every movie of his that kind of comes out, people doubt. Uh-huh. He's kind of battling against the odds when he's making these million yeah, dollar he's movies. Yeah, he's such a battling billionaire, isn't he? He's just, he's just a young, plucky billionaire with his own submarine just trying to make his way in this, in this harsh, un- unforgiving world, isn't he? You know? Mm. God, I'm really in his corner. I'm glad you are. But if you look at, like, people thought Titanic was going to be the next Waterworld. That's true. And he got fired off one of the Piranha movies. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and he stepped into, he made Aliens after Alien. Like, that's 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 a tough bloody gig. So, you know, he's done some pretty spectacular stuff. But he also liked Terminator Genesis. Yes, he did. So what he, mm-hmm. But I still maintain that he saw the first 15 minutes and then went, Me too, This yeah. looks good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm on board. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh... So rehearsals have started for Avengers Infinity War, which begins filming later this year. The uh, Russo brothers released an uh, image and it had Josh Brolin or James Brolin. <laughs> Picture me Brolin. Um, no cap. It's probably suit. both Brolins, right? I guess so. Just stacked on top yeah, of each Thanos other. Yeah, is really big. Mm, I guess so. I thought, my understanding was they were going to do a an actual physical suit, uh-huh. but it looks like he was in a mocap um Thing. Okay. So I guess they're not they're not doing. Maybe that they're going to do partial because now you know yeah. how you see, anytime you see like a civil war behind the scenes, yeah. it's Robert Downey Jr. wearing half the Iron Man suit yeah, yeah. and then just red track pants with sure. the, with the mocap lines. That's down. right. It's probably that. But this was full mocap. Oh, because in the first Avengers, when you see him, uh, the actor who who played him, that was a little bit of CGI, but that was that yeah, was mm-hmm. mostly practical. And then when he turned up in Guardians, when he was. It's like that weird purple Sultana man sitting <laughs> in a chair. That was such an underwhelming reveal. Cammy, you're right, exactly. Yeah, right. and that's a great movie, but it was just kind of like, and here's Thanos. I forget he's in it most of the yeah, time. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But uh, great, it's underway. Avengers movies, they're pretty good generally, I guess. They're pretty good generally, aren't they? They're <laughs> so, pretty good. I give them a solid, on average, I give them a solid seven. Yeah, seven, and, seven. Uh, and it's the Russo brothers, so. Yeah, cool. So from that perspective, that looks that looks mm-hmm. really good. Hey, here's some Marvel news. I'm excited. I don't know if you have it written there, but since we're speaking about Marvel, did you see the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider found footage? I did not. Okay. I, uh... I was gonna. I, I was in talks to do an, an, an ad for them. Oh yes. And I, and oh, it, that's right. It didn't. It didn't end up happening. Oh, so we can rubbish this. Yeah, I guess. Okay, good. <laughs> I, mean, sure. I because, didn't say it. What did it? What did well, it look see, like? Well, see, the thing is, is it's the thing was I was never gonna say I love this show. I was just yeah. gonna be like, you should def- check it out. It definitely comes out this date. Yeah. Uh huh. But it, basically, <laughs> because the the premise is because I. So oh, a lot of people have said they love it. Like it yeah. got a lot better. Anyway, sorry. Well, go see, on. yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. Well, because people tweeted at me and it it's on YouTube and it's like. Ghost Rider found footage. And I'm like, oh, you know, because sort of found footage is sort of the domain of horror movies. Like, sure. you know, your Blair Witch and your Paranormal Activity and what yeah. have you. And I'm like, oh, this will be, this is a fun viral thing. Like, Ghost Rider's kind of horror. Yeah. It'll be kind of fun. Yeah. It it just looks like they made, they got the intern to do it. Uh, like there's, it's just, there's a little bit of fire. Is you it a some, car? Yeah. Yeah. But basically it's a bit of fire in the foreground. Yeah. And then you see a car, just a regular black car, just drive off. And somebody's like, it's it's him. That's, that's it. it. That's the whole thing. You can't see his head? Can't, don't see anything. That's that's not very it good. It genuinely feels like they just had the car on the set. They had a like a burning trash can. And they went, just do that. Yeah. It'll be fine. Can we light this trash can on fire? It's no good. Yeah, definitely. I wanted, I was like, maybe this will this will be what will turn me around and I'll be back on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Would you like to have this seen him go it. past the camera and you see the burning skull in the car? L- anything. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Well, maybe, I'm glad you turned around, Mason. Yeah, me Tune too. in, I want to say Monday, I don't know. Probably Monday. 15th. 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Central. Probably. Probably that. Yeah. There you go. There's some free promotion. Yeah, good stuff. Good work, everybody. What may or may not be the right day or time. <laughs> uh, the Shocker. You see those images? I've seen them. What'd you think? <laughs> yes. Oh, the, you mean for Spider-Man. That's okay, the, right. That's the yeah. international symbol, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you saw that. A lot of people are saying, 
How do his electric powers work, Mason? He doesn't have They're electrical not electric. powers. The shock is vib- vibration powered or something. He'll shoot a it's a concussive blast. It's a concussive or force like or something. That. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. He was always my favorite villain to beat up in those Spider-Man games on PlayStation Two. Why is that? Because he's the biggest prick. He was always <laughs> like, "I hate your Spider-Man." It was, and I was like, "Yeah, what are you? You're, you're a jerk, mate." Wow. That's what I was like. Wow. Yeah. God, that takes me back. What a great memory uh, to share with yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Uh, what do you think? Looks pretty good. What well, he's got, kind of got like a, it's kind of like like a like a hobo kind of vibe to him. Well, that's that's kind of how they do these things. If you look at like Batroc the Leaper, yeah, they'll uh-huh. take the dumbest costume of all time uh-huh. and then be like, "That's not so bad, I guess." Mm, yeah. yeah. Did you want it more quilty? Was it not quilty enough for you? Now that I think about, it, more... no, he seems like because the the sh- the shocker. I don't know. He's the the comic book version. Yeah, thank you. You've done that. You've done. You've done the international symbol for the shocker. Um, he doesn't really need all the quilting, isn't it, to protect him from the concussive? But it's blast? always facing this way. It's always facing out. Surely there's some reverberation. I guess that's true. What if somebody? What if it bounces off a a wall and hits him? Oh yeah, that would be pretty. Or a dangerous. frying pan. <laughs> yep. Yep. So he needs to be ready. One for of those that. Para- One of those parabolic mirrors in like a shopping mall, so you can see around the corner. <laughs> what do you think you of watch those? Out for thugs. Yeah. In a shopping mall. Do you think those have ever saved anybody? No. Yeah, probably not. No. Great. Yeah, great. Spider-Man's happening, isn't it? Yeah. Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill have hinted at a panel of some description. Short for description. Okay, I was just going to say. I'm bringing it back. I was going to ask for clarification. <laughs> clarification. It's going to ask <laughs> for right. some clarification there. Uh, they've hinted towards uh, Hush and Death in the Family being done as animated story arc film properties. Okay. So we just had the killing joke. Have mm-hmm. you got around to it yet? Nope. Fair enough. Uh, are you? And I know you like the ones that are written specifically for. I don't like. I don't like the adaptations. You don't like, of the, see, I, I like, don't like the adaptation. I think I'm coasting on Red Hood though. Yeah, I right. Because you so mention that much. one every time, and yeah, then yeah. I say name another one, and you're like, I like. You know what? I I also I here it comes. enjoy the Dark Knight. Yes, returns. Okay. I like both part, both right. parts, and I like Batman Begins. Not Begins. Year, year one, one. Even though you don't like don't it, don't like it. But I. But I remember enjoying it. But those from like 2012, I want to say. Oh, from a ancient while history. Back. Yeah, so. God, do yeah. you also enjoy the invention of the wheel? It was all right. I yeah, mean, it's good, it's, isn't it? It's, it's very, very convenient now, complain. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It's done a lot of good work. Oh, you, you enjoy the bloody polio vaccine? <laughs> yeah, man, that's again. It's great, that's you're right. That it is I, great, yeah. We've benefited greatly from it, actually. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's killed so, many, so few people I know mm-hmm. to its detriment in a, in a way. Wow. <laughs> Some people that I'd. Facebook based it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know right? they, did, they did too many crunches or something. That's, <laughs> That's why you right. hate them. That's correct. Mm. Uh, yeah, but you haven't read Death in the Family, have you? Because you you haven't read much of the new Fifty Two Batman arc. Wait, is there a new Death in the Family arc? I might be thinking of uh, the the newer one where the Joker. Hang on, let me find this out. I think they're think, I think they're talking about adapting the. But they kind of the family. They from did way it back in, in Red. The day. They did it in Red Hood, though. Oh uh, yeah, but. The, there's a lot of crossover here. That's true. There is a lot of yeah. crossover. They're, all the animated movies are basically set in different universes. Sorry, it's called Joker Death of the Family. I oh, apologize. I okay. think that's what it actually is, but huh, okay. it may or may not be And wrong. what is that about? Uh, well, the Joker basically kidnaps a whole lot of all the Batman's family. Okay. And is like... Alfred? Alfred included. Commissioner Gordon? No. Um, the police chief from the 1960s series. What was his name? Pat Goodman? I don't know. <laughs> okay, right. that no, that sounds about right. Yeah, uh, yeah and uh, and because he the Joker, it's the, basically the Joker's last shot at Batman in the new Aunt, 52. What's the aunt's name? It's where he's got his face cut off. Oh yeah. Oh the aunt, I don't know Mildred. Aunt Harriet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know the one where Joker's got his face cut off. You would have seen that. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, and because he thinks that Batman's strong, Batman's always been better without his family because it means that he's he doesn't rely on other people and he's yeah okay he's, sure he's uh-huh. own man and whatever yeah. and who needs family when you can. Cut your own face off. <laughs> That's what my dad says. You're into it? Hush. Mm, uh, uh, mm. You fight Superman. You know what? I would be into it if only to see how they translate the Jim Lee art into animation. Probably not that good. That's yeah, pretty see? good art. I think they're going <laughs> to do like that kind of... Yeah, the killing joke was a bit spotty. Yeah. Uh, some of it was, looked really great, but it was a bit... Yeah, I mean, Jim Lee's art has it ever... I'd, has it ever translated? Can you think of an animated adaptation of that? No. No. Because remember when they did they did a Wildcats adaptation? Did they? Back in the day. And it's okay. just sort of that generic 
it's, it'd be hard to capture him. Yeah, yeah. That mm. was what was great about the animated, the Batman series, the animated mm. Batman series. Very simplistic. Yeah. But it allows for a lot of fluidity yeah. and movement and, and you fill in the gaps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. Uh, so, I don't know. Mm. Because Hush is kind of, it's an intriguing storyline that doesn't have, for me, does not have a good payoff. Because, because the, the, the villain is... The villain is yeah. the only new character introduced in the yeah. in, in the series. That's right. You think it's going to be somebody good. Aunt Harriet. Out, it's Aunt Harriet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chief O'Hara is the character's <laughs> name I've remembered. That's right. You're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, great. I mean, it, good or bad, uh-huh. it'll be one of those. Mm-hmm. Or somewhere in the middle. Might be that one. All right, then. Are you in a rebirth? What's going on there? I mean, I'm, I've been reading it, yeah. But I've been reading Superman, Batman, and I've been trying to... I'm going to start on some other stuff soon. Superman's got a kid now? How's the kid working out? You know what? It's pretty good. Yeah. I haven't... I, I didn't like any of... No, not that I didn't like it. I uh, not, uh-huh. None of the new 52 Superman really did it for me. Okay, here's a question for you. Yeah. Do you think that this son of Superman, mm. does he feel like a character that's going to exist for a long time? Or does he feel like a character they're going to erase next time they reboot the universe? He feels real. And okay. yeah, I, I, I think he works really well. Okay, that, that's, that's positive. And there's some kind of... Like his power levels kind of fluctuate because he's, he's half human. Yep. And the Eradicator shows up and is all like, this is a pure Kryptonian or whatever. How does, the, how does the Eradicator look these days? Is he the hooded one? The robot Nah, the man, he's one? the 90s one. With really? big sunglasses and all. No. It's not the same. I don't think it's the same Eradicator, but it's like the same model, I think. Okay. I'd have to, I'd have to look huh. into it. It's yeah. glasses Eradicator. It's yeah, not man. robot Eradicator. Okay. Which do you prefer? Robot Eradicator. You don't know nothing, yeah, mate. I know. <laughs> um... Okay, rebirth. Yeah. Here's a question: Have they addressed the fact? Have they have they addressed the Watchmen aspects of it recently? Not outright. I okay. Don't believe. Yeah. All right. I think so that's still, still kind coming. Of dancing around it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. I don't know. I just whenever they relaunch all these books. Yeah. There's too much. Yeah. I can't read forty fucking DC titles. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's but, just not happening. But it's sort of they're now geared towards people who who want to do that. Mm. Who are like, all right, I've, I've, this is my thing, and I'm committed to four, and they know that. Yeah. So they're like, well, we'll do it. So, I but they, sh- they should, there should be, there should be stuff for casual readers. I yeah, think. and I think that's where like the Batman Superman stuff, they generally kind of stick, stick. Yeah, to that. I think that's probably why you're on it. Yeah, yeah. But it, that's that's because I like from years and years and years they've always said, okay. In this undefined future, mm. Superman will leave Earth and Superman 2, his son, will take over. Yeah. And they've never actually gotten there. Right, right. So this feels like, so this posi- might be it. This feels okay. like positive change in that they're like, Certainly. okay, well, we'll let this universe move forward slowly. Yeah. So that's good. And his name's, what's his son name? John? Yeah, it's John. Mm. No, what's his father's name? Yeah, John, Jonathan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, it's right. good. I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, Live by Night. The Ben Affleck gangster movie. Oh, yes. And the only reason I bring it up is because he is doing the next Batman movie, obviously. Uh-huh. And he's Batman. Mm. He's the best part. He's portraying Batman. He's not actually Batman. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's, um, yeah. Movies are confusing because they, they turn different characters, different people. I know, right? You, know, yeah. you get yeah. it, yeah? But he, he looked like Batman <laughs> in that last one. He had the thing. He had the, the costume on. <laughs> and the gadgets. And the, he had the voice. Yeah, he did have the voice. He's a Batman. Yeah, that was modulated. Alfred. <laughs> Alfred was a cover, Alfred. Anyway, in this one, Ben yes. Affleck's being a gangster, but mm. pretend oh. uh, in the 30s. I was going to say, he's, <laughs> he's learned a lot of money. Why has he turned to a life of crime? And what did you think of it? It looked pretty interesting. So I was kind of like, this feels generic y gangster i uh-huh. uh, I'm not a big gang, like 1930s kind of gangster guy. It's not really my. Like, you know, there was that gangster squad from last yeah, year. Yeah, sure. Say, and, Bunch Have you heard about stuff. the Hat Squad? No. <laughs> there's a, there's a series. I think it's from the late nineties. It's a, like a like a cop show called the Hat Squad. Right. And it's about these three brothers who are who were raised by like a like an old timey detective, and they're in the modern era, and they all wear hats. Yeah. They all wear like fedora style hats. Is so it they're called good? the Hat Squad. How could it possibly be good? <laughs> I've not seen it. I'm just trying to find somebody else who's seen it. Okay. Yeah. Well, bloody tweet at Mason. If at you've Wikipedia seen the Hat Brown. Squad, yeah. Yeah. And, and is it good? Yeah. We know it's not, but yeah. we'd love Try to hear Try and convince me in 100... You've got 140 <laughs> characters minus my name to convince me that it's that it's good. If you think it's if good. If you think it's good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think it was a particularly well-cut trailer. It's fine. Mm-hmm. If it's, he's, he's, on, he's on a pretty good run. Uh, yeah. Even if it's bad, I don't, I don't think that's... That doesn't really bode poorly for the Batman movie because mm-hmm. I think he's got talent. And even great directors kind of... 
miss every now and then. Director, speaking of directors, interestingly, it said from the director of mm. The Town and Argo. Yeah. That's you, Ben Affleck. That's him. It should say Ben Affleck. It should. Well, mm. he probably didn't cut the trailer. Yeah. Or mm. maybe he did, Mason. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I just feel... It should say, from the director of Argo and The Town, and then cut to a, a still of him, and then a flashing thing that says, this guy, <laughs> it's this guy, this guy. This man here. He's not really a gangster. No, He's don't worry about it. He's pretending to be a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, fine, whatever. Uh-huh. And this is leading into all the DC news for this week, Mason. Oh. Uh, so, first of all, Mel Gibson came out and rubbished Batman Superman. I can read this verbatim. Great. Who cares? First of all, who cares what you think, Mel? Is this funny? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I think cool. So. But I mean, first of all, it's been out for how long's it been out? Yeah. March. March of this year. Well done jumping on the bandwagon, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Maybe he just got it. He yeah, just probably, saw it. Yeah. yeah. You know what? He probably saw like his kids were watching it or something like <laughs> right, that. Right. And he walked past. Right. He's like, what's this rubbish? I'm drunk. What is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you're spending outrageous amounts of money, 180, 180 million or more. 180 million. 180. Well, he's so Australian, we isn't he? Yeah. 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 Actually, he's not Australian. We don't want him. Uh, I don't know how uh, you make it back after the tax man gets you and after you give half of it to the uh, exhibitors. And then he said, Why did the, what did they spend on Batman v Superman that they're admitting to? And it's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's pretty good. Brutal. Yeah. Mel Gibson says it like it is, even yeah. if what he says is not always accurate. No. But do you think he's wrong by saying... Why are they spending this much money on this movie and it not being that good? Absolutely, he's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the first time on anybody's every- <laughs> ever said that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But also, you got to look at this. A movie isn't one hundred eighty million dollars, and then it's and then it's done. Hmm. Like, you're, I mean, and you get the return from the box office. There's obviously DVD and digital downloads and merchandising and toys for kids and whatever. Oh, you know what I mean? Like toys for adults. Toys for adults, and you're building the universe. So I, I, I think. The return isn't just in the movie itself. Yeah, mm. it should have done a lot better. It should have cracked a billion, and it didn't. So he's right. He's isn't that right. astounding to say? It this w- should have cracked a billion dollars. Yeah, it should have yeah. though. I mean, and especially when you look at the opening weekend. Mm-hmm. If it had been, you know, if that had been good word of mouth, it would have yeah. cracked a million. Mm-hmm. I mean, if Civil War can, that's true. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And yeah. Anyway, thanks, Mel Gibson. Anyway, you tell it like it is, <laughs> Mel Gibson, about movies and. Go matter. on. You no, know what? No, no, I don't want to. No. <laughs> I was thinking about it, then I decided not to. It's probably for the best. Yeah. So uh, I'll put it into the clip show. Yeah, that's right. I don't know the thing about the Jews. No. <laughs> so Jeff Johns has also come out and said, you know, he's in charge of all things DC movies now. Well, we'll see, won't we? He's there, Kevin Feige. Mm. But he hasn't really had an opportunity to kind of... We haven't seen what he's done yet because yeah. they only kind of promoted him after Batman and Superman didn't do as well as they would have yeah. liked. Mm-hmm. And they were like, look, we know your role is overseer, but... We want you to actually do it now, <laughs> like for real. Uh, but he said, mistakenly in the past, I think the studio was said, oh, uh, DC films are dark and uh, gritty and that's what makes them different. That couldn't be more wrong. Uh, it's a hopeful and optimistic view of life. Even Batman has a glimmer of that in him. If he didn't think he'd make tomorrow better, he'd stop. Do you think he would stop? No, I think he'd keep going. Yeah. yeah. Is this crazy? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that though? So he's- That's very lofty, I feel. What, to be like... Just this whole... The, the whole thing he said. To be like, there's a glimmer of hope in these DC yeah. movies. Do you feel the hope? I think he should have just said, we're going to make better movies from now on. We hope. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Do I? Yeah, maybe I don't. Yeah. We'll find out. Mm. I mean, I'm glad he's... Glad someone's running it. Yeah. And he seems like a, a good choice. Uh, it's interesting that he said that the studio in the past have said, oh, dark and gritty is what made... Make these films mm-hmm. different. And they always kind of denied that, but... That is clearly what they were doing. They were like, people like Nolan and people didn't like Green Lantern, so uh-huh. let's just try and do that. But I that's guess. because people like people being thrown off fire escapes and breaking their legs. They like that. That's true. Dark and gritty or hilarious, doesn't matter. Yeah. And they dislike people being punched into space with big green fists. <laughs> In an alley. In a, and then they, they're like, we didn't like that because did the guy land or what? He, he didn't land, he Mason. He just flew into space. He flew into space. What happened in Green Lantern? Yeah, yeah. So... Th- again, this doesn't mean anything to me until mm. something comes out. Right. So we'll see, won't we? Yeah, a couple of years. I hope it's good. Oh, well, next year. We'll yeah. get Wonder Woman, then we'll get Justice League, mm. and then we'll know, Mason. Yeah. Billy Crudup has been cast as Barry Allen's father in the Flash movie. That's right. I think that's great casting. Yeah. John Wesley Shipp plays him in the TV show. Correct. Which I think is also great Dawson's casting. Dawson's dad. Dawson's dad. You know what? DC have made their mistakes in the past, but they've never missed a trick on casting Barry <laughs> Allen's dad in a thing. 
Correct. You know what I mean? You're it's absolutely always great. Right. Always knocked it out of the park every time. Mamma mia. Yeah, so that's pretty great. Uh, Billy Crudup. As has been in a comic book movie before. Watchmen. He was Watchmen. Yeah. He was Watchmen. I mean, he wasn't the abs, obviously. No. He that... wasn't the abs or the dong. That was somebody else. <laughs> I think the dong died. was him. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Oh, yeah, that's right. The guy died, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Uh-huh. The body double for Dr. Manhattan. Mm. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, great. Good casting. Mm. And the other huge bit of casting news this week, Mason. Oh, yeah. Joe Manganello. That's mm-hmm. how you pronounce it, Mason. Oh. He is Deathstroke. I've been saying Manganello. Well, you're an idiot. Oh. And not just for this reason. For other reasons, which I could name, but I won't. Because oh. we're going to move it along. No, no. Do it, for a, do it for the clip show. Here we go. <laughs> Fine. You do too many crunches on Facebook, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, thank you. Every day, do you have to? Yeah. Uh, it's for every one of our returned soldiers. <laughs> I do a crunch or something. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah. I respect you in that mm-hmm. sense. But yeah, um, so he was a fan choice for, okay, for sure. ages. Yep. Um, and he's he's been kind of in and out of this DC universe. He was nearly Superman or he was mm-hmm. up very, very close. Uh-huh. He was close to Batman apparently. And now he's Deathstroke, which is kind yeah. of like the bad Batman. And he was <laughs> Flash Thompson in Spider- Spider-Man. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1, right? And what's his name? They've done it. They've got the Raimi... Trilogy of stealing yep. uh-huh. <laughs> actors because they also got they got Commissioner Gordon, J.K. Simmons, J.K. Simmons. Yes. They got Joe Manganiello and they got uh, Frog Toby Maguire. No, not Toby Maguire. But Goblin Boy, Goblin Man, William Bloody Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. He's an Aquaman. Oh, so there they go. They got the Raimi trifecta as a as like a like a blowfish. I assume so. Just the Some head. sort of crab man. Just a green screen suit from yeah. the neck down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So good on him, mate. Mm. I think that's great casting. Willem Dafoe would be a good one of those spiny fishes. Yeah, he would, wouldn't he? Or like a Mexican fighting fish. Yeah, he would. Mm. Yeah. I like that guy a lot. Yeah. He's good in most of the movies he's in. Mm. I think that's all the news, Mason. Joe Manganiello, how, what's he been in since? Because I don't know of him anything. Magic in, in, Mike. Okay. Probably True Blood. I don't right, know. Okay, I he yeah. is in True Blood. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Because the only thing I know him from is Flash Thompson, and it, uh, and he doesn't he doesn't look very Deathstrokey in that. So clearly, it's been that a, was that's been. Have yeah, you I seen know. him recently? Well, see that oh, I have he's now. Enormous. But he's like a bus. that's yeah, I know. But he, yeah. and he's also got that kind of yeah, he's got he's that like, graph exterior. He's old enough. It's like yeah. thirty eight or whatever. He yeah. doesn't look like a twenty five year old high school student no, anymore. He doesn't. He looks like a like a grown stubbly man. Is correct, what I'm saying. Correct. And correct. I'm just wondering what the what the transition was there. Right. Right. Just really a lot just, of crunches. Just mate. living hard. Living yeah. hard. Living mm, life. Doing mate. crunches. So there right. we go. Yeah. Now, Mason, we've got two sponsors this week. Oh, I yeah. know you were against it. No. But I said more money, and you said, <laughs> "All right then." Okay. <laughs> Every now and then, we finally I can get those braces. <laughs> I mean, I don't need braces. Suspenders or like teeth no, braces? No, for my teeth. I'm going to get okay. two sets of braces. Yep. One to really mess up my teeth. Yeah. And then another set to, to put them back in place. That's what we do with podcast money. Because mm-hmm. we just throw it, throw it away. <laughs> throw it into extreme dental care. Okay, Mac Weldon Mason. Yes. They sell all sorts of bloody good and anti-naturally antimicrobial... He did it! Uh, ...clothing. You had to run into it though. There. I did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You, had to, you, had, you needed some some supporting words before you said it. It was I like noticed. when your dad's holding the back of your bike when you're learning to ride. You're yeah. like, I don't know about this. Uh-huh. I and fell then you so turn, many times. Then you turn around and, and you, you go, yeah, I'm doing it, Dad, I'm doing it. And you turn around, he's not there anymore. And you never see him again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, they believe in the smartness. Some of this money also goes to therapy sessions. <laughs> I, don't right. know if you, I don't know if you know. Uh Backwater believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shop shopping. Mm. As we know, they've got a fantastic website for ordering. And uh, when when we say naturally antimicrobial, it means they eliminate odor. These t-shirts, Mason, they don't have that weird smell that t-shirts sometimes get. The smell of us. The smell of us, in particular. Mm. Uh, but they've got a bunch of stuff. You know, you know. That's they- my autobiography, by the way. It's going to be called the smell of us. <laughs> the smell of us. Is it me and you on the cover? Yeah. 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 Uh, so You're they- the smell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding up my arm and there's like a green stink cloud coming out and your face is on it. <laughs> and I'm giving the thumbs up and the smell is also giving the thumbs up. So they deal in underwear, socks, shirts that look good. They perform well too. It's good for working out, going to work, going on dates, just everyday life. Trim but not tight. Correct. Nice. And that, you know what? They are. They're a great fitting t shirt. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. actually wearing one right now under this hoodie. And people say that and you're like, well, it depends on what body shape you have. But yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, you know what? For us, for us trim tight gentlemen, yeah. perfect oh. every time. Mm. Very good. Uh, so if you go to uh, macweldon.com, uh, macweldon.com, and you can get 20% off if you use the promo code. 
planet. That's us. Good stuff all around. Mm. Mason, I've got a topic for this week. Oh, yeah. And I've changed it the last minute. Great. I want to do, <laughs> just thinking about Ben Affleck, I want to do who has the widest head and face in Hollywood. Willem Dafoe. What about John, Tra- John Travolta? Oh, that's pretty wide. Ron Perlman. More long than wide. Yeah, he's long than more long than wide. Ray Liotta. Oh, that's such a wide head. Javier Bardem. So wide. <laughs> What's that movie and there's a woman? I think it might be... Is it... Brazil. It's Brazil. Yeah. There's a woman and she's got the... She's got all the heads being yes, stretched yes, out. Yes, that's yeah, right. Okay. Widest head in Hollywood? Yeah. Okay, the woman from Brazil. Okay, well, we now that, I guess we could do another topic now that we've yeah, cool, cool. covered that. Now we've exhausted that. Ben Affleck does have a big head, doesn't he? I mean, he's a big bloke, but he's mm. got a big bloody head on him. I think a lot of people in Hollywood have big heads. Because they've got small bodies and big heads? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Though I think he is big. I think he's a no, he's like 6'4 or something. Mm. Anyway. Mason, let's talk guilty <laughs> pleasures. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can do that. I'm not talking your favourite ice cream, Mason. Oh. Put it down. Mm. Turn it upside down. In so my got, lap. Yes. So I get ice cream in my lap. <laughs> Oh, all right. You can't have it. Oh. Uh, so we thought we'd talk this week about yeah, guilty pleasure movies and TV shows. Yeah. Things that we love that might not necessarily be good. Okay, and great. And I want to preface this by saying, I don't actually believe in guilty pleasures. If you like Episode a thing... Episode over. Here yeah, we go. Like, <laughs> they're like ghosts, Mason. Yeah. They don't exist. No, I mean in the sense, like what you like, man. Yeah, If you like a it. thing, you don't have to feel guilty about it. Yeah. Unless it's like a weird sex thing that hurts somebody. Didn't sure. need to say that. Don't know why I said it. But <laughs> we'll edit it out. We're going to leave it in. <laughs> but uh, do you know what I mean? You know, I, you, I know what you mean. Do you mean. feel that way? Or? I, no, I, I think I think we're absolutely right. And mm. I think again, we have we've expressed strong opinions on various things over the course of these. You know, we, we'll rubbish a movie, but you Correct. know what? If if you like it, again, it's fine. You're wrong, but that's cool. <laughs> that's and I, a- we say that as a as a bit. But at the same time, my opinion of a movie shouldn't affect. What you think about no, it. If you love it, who cares? It's very strange when people get upset yeah. that you if you don't like a thing. Mm. It's, it's, or if you do like a thing. Or if you do like that. a thing, yeah. More than that. If you like yeah, if you're like, I really like this and like here's I've I've tried to over the last few years to be less about well, this is the reason you're wrong about liking that. I totally. Don't, great, enjoy it. You can it. be like this is the reason I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. But you can't put that on somebody else, yeah. obviously. Here's something that I and I said I was gonna watch it a couple of weeks ago and I finally got to it. And yeah, I yeah. I enjoyed it actually quite a lot. The reviews haven't been great, is I finally watched Hardcore Henry. Oh which, you did? Yeah. Fun? And you know what? It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. At no point was I like, oh, this, this, because it's gimmick. Yeah, this, oh, this, this is wearing kind of thin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's okay. Here's the, the thing about it, and I understand why people are like, this is no good, because there's nothing to it. Like plot yeah. wise, it's a guy he wakes up, uh, and he gets some cyborg parts put on. Yeah, yeah. And then basically the rest of the the, it, the rest of the movie is like ninety minutes of him either running away from dudes. Or running at dudes. It's basically a <laughs> Benny Hill sketch. Right, right. Except with guns instead of boobs for 90 minutes. <laughs> are there any boobs? Yes, there are boobs. Right now then. that I think about it. Good stuff. It's it's fun and the gimmick didn't wear out and the action's good. Do you think that's partly because they went 90 minutes as opposed to being like, let's make this three hours long? Maybe it is more than that. Yeah? I'll have a look. I'll you check don't have right to. now. It's fine. But it's fun. Um, Everybody, there's, there's some... There's some there's some hamming it up, which I really enjoyed. Absolutely. Charles O'Copley's in it. Well, that's he's he's yeah. Yeah. He loves a bit of ham, that's <laughs> Yeah, like, that's right. He's he's a, he's way. like, I know what I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a guy with a funny accent and I'm just gonna ham it up. And there's like a sort of kind of a cartoony villain. The effects are mostly pretty good. I had a bloody good time with it, if I'm honest with you. Good, mm. that's great. I, I do have it, um, mm. a digital copy, so I, I, I do need to actually get mm. into that. There's a mm. minigun in it, which you know I enjoy. How was the minigun? It's pretty good. Again, nobody, nobody's really... Again, I'm, I'm waiting for a movie where somebody's really riddled with bullets with a minigun. Yeah, yeah. And we couldn't... There's, some, cars, there's some vans and cars that are riddled with bullets. It's pretty good. Mm. Some of the CGI is a little bit shaky. Sure, but, but mm. I mean, you've you got to expect that... From the perspective from the perspective it's shot in, yes, there'd be a lot of well, not a lot, but there'd be some CGI elements, stuff that you couldn't do in camera. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I can understand why they mm-hmm. why they kind of did that. I, I got one for you, and I actually just okay. watched it today. It's an hour and thirty six minutes. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's about yeah. yeah it's a solid, over. Good, real good. I watched this today, and I'd forgotten that I liked it. Okay. Or even, I don't even remember if I liked it at the time. That's a good sign. Uh, but you like it now? I do. the The Mask of Zorro. Which sure, is the okay. first Antonio Banderas one. Uh-huh. I think the second one's terrible. I, have, I don't even know. I don't think I've, yeah. I've seen it. Uh-huh. But also, I realized watching it today, 
I fucking love Zorro, man. Yeah, that's okay. great. Yeah. Don Diego de la Vega. Is there is, another Zorro coming out? So? Yeah, there's future Zorro coming coming at some point. Fioro. Fioro. It's called like Fioro. it's called like Zorro Reborn or something okay. like that. They should call it Zorro in the future. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Then we know. They, and they refer to him. They're like, oh no. There's like a bad guy, and he's like, ha ha, we're gonna get away with this. And then somebody's like, sir, look out, it's Zorro from the future. <laughs> Jetbike? Yeah, probably, yeah. So and they're in the future. It's- oh, I, I thought he, I would like it if he was the only one from the future. No, no, it's 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 set in the future, but everybody and it, everybody believes it's the current day, but they refer to him as Zorro from the future. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. Anyway, have you seen that movie? Um, yes. It's- Is it the one where he he does the Zorro swipe across? Um, what's her name? Catherine Zeta Jones. And a close yeah, follow. Yeah, that's right. Is that that's, one? That's right. exact. That's the one. Yeah. Uh-huh. The sequel. This was from '98, and the sequel was in like 2005, which was like way too late. Uh-huh. Martin Campbell also directed it. Yep. Uh, Ant- Antonio Banderas is not a is not a Latin man, obviously, <laughs> but he plays the retired or the old Zorro. He said Antonio Banderas. Sorry, Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins plays Antonio Banderas is the most is that, Latin, is Latin the, man. He is. Um, he plays the retired Zorro who right. everyone's seen this who get who kind of gets captured. He um, Count of Monte Cristo style, uh-huh. which is another great movie. The re- anyway, it's for another day. But no, uh, it's for now. We'll get to it in a minute. No, that's a good movie. That's a legitimately good movie. Is it the one with yes. Guy Pierce? It's amazing. Is it? I've got another Guy Pierce one on the on the cards anyway. Okay, great. For later. But I don't know. Is I, it? Hang on, let me think. Let me think of a garbage Australian movie that Guy Pierce is in. Probably a crime one. <laughs> Yeah. Or he's in the he's good in, crime ones. He's in that one that's set at the horse races. Oh, okay. Remember that one? Is Bart Cummings in it? Maybe. Probably. I'll find out. I'll, th- I'll think of it. Don't you worry. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, he's yeah. But it, it's, it's very swashbuckling yep. and it holds up in the is sense... Is it the one they're trying to build a railroad? No, it's the one where they're, they're, they're using a mine. They're, okay. they're building a mine that's in California. What I mean. yeah. Sure. <laughs> Maybe the second one's a railroad. But it, both of, you know, young Zorro, new Zorro and old Zorro have their own personal vendettas. Uh-huh. And Anthony Hopkins... That's what you identify with people I with vendettas. I absolutely do. Yeah. And Anthony Hopkins trains up bloody Antonio Banderas in like his little Zorro cave. Uh-huh. And then they go and do them. And, and also young Zorro teaches old Zorro about honour, even though it was the other way around. Whoa. And I just... I, do you remember the 90s TV show? Zorro. It was just called Zorro. No. I remember really liking it. It probably huh. wasn't good. Have you read the Django Zorro? I've heard, I've heard it's good. Is it good? I oh, yeah. It's, look, it's enjoyable. Okay. To yeah. some extent. Sure. To some extent. Yeah. Mm. Uh it's a bit long. Okay. Yeah. For, a, for a comic book. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, get on the bloody mask of Zorro or okay. Legend of Zorro, whichever yeah, the right. one from '98 is. Uh-huh. What else you got? Um, hang on. Can I can I just find this? Is it, I'm going to find this Guy Pierce film set at the races, if I could. If you'll, if you'll bear with me. Sure. Um, it's early. The Hard Word. Remember that one? Nah. Rachel Griffiths is in it? Nah. That one? I think, I'm thinking of Getting Square. <laughs> you think of Getting Square. Exactly. <laughs> Which is another Joel is... Edgerton is in it? Of course he is. I didn't think he wouldn't be. Hmm. Well, let me guess. That's from like 2004? It's from 2002. Okay. Close enough. Vince Colosimo is in it. Of course he is. Three the fraternal- poor man's Eric Banner. Three fraternal hang on. Three fraternal bank robbers languishing in jail discover a profitable, if not dodgy, way to spend their time. Crime can most certainly pay if you know what I mean. That's in quotes. I, yeah, so I presumably guess I that know happens what in the yeah. They mean. I yeah. guess I is that your guilty when sex and crims gr- when sex and greed rear up between the good crims and the bad cops, the consequences are both bizarre and fatal. It's not very good. It's not my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I can't remember what happens in it. What is your bloody? What's another one you got? Oh, um, well, speaking of Yazora, and I, they they get a bad rap on this show because I rubbish them all the time. But I like, yeah, I, re- I speaking of old timey stuff that shouldn't be brought back. Um, the Shadow with Alec Baldwin. Oh, you like that? I can yeah. I only remember the bit where he fights the CGI knife. That's all I remember. Yeah, that's why I enjoy it because I only remember the bit where he fights the CGI knife. <laughs> it's got a face that bites yeah, him. Yeah, an angry face. Yeah, yeah I uh-huh. remember. It's fun. It doesn't take itself that seriously. Prosthetics. I think he did that because he turned down Batman. Yes, he did, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that did not do well. Mm. I don't think it was a CGI knife, though. I don't think you could blame it on the CGI knife. No, no. My, I mean, the CGI knife did rubbish the movie in the press. Is Kim Basinger, <laughs> is Kim Basinger in that? No, I think it's a poor man's Kim Basinger. Okay, because it's the yeah. Batman uh-huh. buddy. Let's look it up. Because they, they were married, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, such a such a nineties marriage. Shut up. Was it Alec, Bal- Alec Baldwin, <laughs> Alec Baldwin, and Kim Basinger. But no, it's great. It's good fun. Is it? When was the last time you've saw, seen it? 
Oh, uh, when it was on home video, presumably. I the first time I saw that was in the yeah. late '90s uh-huh. at one of my friends' house, who I presume must have been rich uh-huh. because he had a laser disc. <laughs> wow! All and right. He had the shadow on laser disc. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, maybe it was '97. Mm. But yeah, it's an all-star cast. Go, bloody Ian McKellen's in it. Oh, really? Yeah, he's the guy who makes the atom bomb in it. Okay. Um, Peter Boyle is in it. The award-winning Peter Boyle. He's Peter Boyle. He's the know. he's the granddad in Everybody Loves Rain. Oh, I know him. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. Yeah. Tim Curry is in it. Tim Curry's in it. Mm-hmm. All all the greats. It's real good. I'm looking at the cast here. Yeah, this has got some this has got some people in it. It's solid good fun. Again, should they keep making them? No, because nobody watches them. <laughs> But if this cast were to get back together, minus, of course, Peter Boyle, who's no longer with us, dead. and could, could do some sort of live reading of The Shadow in my house, I would appreciate that, um, if you wouldn't mind. Steve Heitner is in it, who huh. you may know as Banyan from Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, the guy played Tatsu's in it from Ninja Turtles. Yeah, right, yeah. Great. Mm-hmm. So this is very mystical and oriental, it seems, as well, Mason. Yes. It seems a, a mixing of the arts. Well, that's where... That's where the shadow got his powers, from the Orient. Did he? Yeah. Was it in like an amulet? No, in his mind. They're in his mind. He got an amulet drilled into his mind. No, he learned the skills. They're in his mind. Because he could. And I remember he could change his face, but it was a weird prosthetics over it when he yep, did it. Because uh-huh. he could not be recognized and he, he could. He can cloud manipulate. men's minds. That's, That's his one. power. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh huh. Great, Mason. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm never going to watch that. No, but dude, I watch give it, it? A, give it a whirl. It's fun. Big hats, right? So, such big, huge hats. Great. Yeah. He's mm. one that I, I, I've talked about recently. Did you know mm. that the Shadow has a double secret identity? Like Batman's Matches Malone? No. We'll see. Because the Shadow's secret identity is, is New York socialite playboy Lamont Cranston. Right. But he's actually not Lamont Cranston. He's actually Kent Allard, who's like a World War I aviator. Right. But he is taken on the identity because Lamont Cranston is always out of town and they look mostly the same. So Kent Allard took is on Lamont the... Is Lamont cool with this? Yeah. Yeah, they met okay. once. And he's like, whatever. He might, he, I mean, sure, he might have been like, I'm going to take on your identity and if you object, I'll kill you because I'm a weird... <laughs> I'm a weird Orient-powered martial arts shadowy madman. And I have one of the biggest faces in Hollywood. Yeah, right? <laughs> ah, tri- now he does. Triple whammy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He used to be quite narrow. He was, yeah, young, yeah, yeah. Young Alec Baldwin's quite narrow. He still looks narrow. good. Yeah, so Kent Allard takes on the mantle of Lamont Cranston and then he becomes the shadow. Wow, that is... Double secret identity. That is complex. Isn't it, though? Yeah. And unnecessary. They didn't even put that plot. That plot is not in the movie but it is in the novelization who is he in the movie is he lamont cranston he's lamont cranston okay so they yeah. just went let's just do him bruce wayne yeah exactly kind of yeah okay mm-hmm. yeah because alec baldwin was like i will do one secret identity like batman but i will not do a second one well bruce wayne in, in a way has double secret identities because he's real sec- he's real bruce wayne yeah his and, and he's socialite bruce wayne, bruce yeah. wayne. Mm-hmm. so yeah yeah mm-hmm but he, he hasn't threatened a man out of town and stolen his <laughs> identity. True. Uh, the replace- maybe he has. Maybe, maybe Matches Malone lives. <laughs> yeah, you're maybe right. Maybe he lives in the other side of the America because he's afraid that Bruce Batman's Wayne will beat him up. Beat him up yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Replacements is a late 90s Keanu Reeves movie. Is it a football movie? It's a football movie. I like football movies despite knowing think- nothing about football. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I like I, there's a Marky Mark one where he uh, where he gets drafted in the NFL as like a rookie. Uh-huh. There's a bunch of them I like, and I don't know why. Do you like that movie that has the guy from Lord of the Rings in it? Lord of the Rings? No. <laughs> oh, uh, Rudy. Rudy. I haven't seen it. I huh. heard that's a good one though. People like Rudy. I had they? to see it in school, so it's got the stigma of it's a movie I had to see at school, so I hate it. Did you have to learn about it? No, I think it might have been. It might have even just been a rainy day. A movie. teacher rolled in that rattly TV yeah, on that, that's right. that weird yeah. stand with the VCR, <laughs> and you go, "If this is a TV show, this will be okay. But if it's a movie, there's not going to be enough time. Yeah. So we'll never see the end of this." That's exactly right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they I'll... once did that to us with a Tales from the Crypt movie. <laughs> Which one? Uh, it's the one where they're all they're all trapped in like a. They're all the one got one person has inherited these these ghost hunting powers, right? And they're all trapped in like a like a school or something. Okay. And it starts with a woman like naked having a bath, <laughs> and and like and we we went to an all boys school, and it's Woo! yeah exactly that. that. And they they pour, they they stopped it, and they're like, "You all bloody settle down, and we're not watching this." And I'm like, "We're never gonna get to the end of this anyway." No. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you 
We've Either. seen the we've seen the best bit. Yeah. They did that to me uh, with Airborne. The <laughs> it's Airborne. It's the it's the rollerblading movie. Jack Black's in it. What? Seth Green's in it. Is this a guilty pleasure? You know what? Yeah, it's pretty fucking. It's not good. <laughs> uh, okay, the replacements fine. Yeah, you got another one. Replacements is great. It's a bloody. Tell me more they're, about they're it. They're a replacement NFL team because there's a strike. Okay. So Keanu Reeves is is, is uh, plays Falco, and he was a former <laughs> Falco from Neverending Story. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. <laughs> God, all we have, all we have is the bloody janitor, and we have this this guy who is the biggest, this big fat guy, and he's he's not going to be any good, but he'll turn out to be good. He'll be a good blocker, you know. And and we have this this mystical, this mystical flying dog monster. That's all we have to make up this team. We're such a, we're such. Oh, They're up against we're it. Such aren't a they? motley crew, aren't we? It's got uh, it's got a great cast. John Favreau's in it. Okay. This, Is he the big fat guy? No, he's a cop. He's a right cop or something. Okay, a right. SWAT dude. Uh-huh. Uh, the, who's the real skinny guy in Notting Hill? The British guy. Colin Firth. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, he's the lizard. He's the lizard in that Spider-Man movie. Oh yeah. He's like a he's Reece, like Reese Evans. Yeah, he's uh-huh. like a soccer player. Like uh-huh. sorry, a football. <coughs> an English Premier League player. Uh-huh. So they've they've kind of got these specific skills. And so, yeah, Falco's this former quarterback uh-huh. who's kind of failed and he's uh-huh. known to choke. And okay. so they bring him back into the game and he kind of... Mm-hmm. And Gene Hackman's the coach. Ah, oh, that makes sense. It's bloody great. Yeah. Get into it, Mason. The movie I'm thinking of is Tales from the Crypt of Demon Knight, which features Billy Zane. Love it. Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm. Thomas Hayden Church Love it Who is of course The Sandman And Ned From the TV series Ned and Stacey <laughs> Correct And the really drunk guy From um, Sideways I Haven't seen it Oh well Oh CCH Pounder's in it That means nothing to me Okay here's the plot Here's the plot uh, Woman takes a bath Now nah, who cares Settle that matter. Oh it's not even interesting <laughs> That's not there's some, they're, in a, they're in a boarding house And there's a guy And he chases demons And Okay sure matter. I remember enjoying They're it. They're a bit hit and miss, aren't they? I think I went and I rendered the video later and it was pretty good. Did you ever see The Storyteller, The Jim Henson Storyteller? No, I'm aware of it. That is crazy good. Okay. Like, I, I watched some of them recently. They're not all amazing, but there's some really good cracked. Oh, it's a TV effects. series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, that's for Is it all day. Jim Henson Creature Shop? Yeah, pretty much. Do they all look no, kind no, no, of No, 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 sorry. There's actually people in it as well. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. But are all the monsters Sean kind of Beans in one of them? Yeah, but in a, in a good way. Hmm. Uh, you know who's in it? Who's that? William Hurt or the other one? John Hurt. <laughs> yeah, what? John Hurt. That's John what. Hurt's the one from Brazil. Yes. Uh-huh. No, 1984. I mean, he's not actually from Brazil. Isn't he? He's no, talking about no, 1984. He's, he's Is it in Brazil? I don't think so, no. <laughs> okay. He's in 1984. Oh, yeah, you're still, yeah. That's uh-huh. why you're getting confused. Yeah. Now, this is a good movie, right? But I only say it's a guilty pleasure because I got sprung buying it and I, and I panicked okay. in the early 2000s when this came out. The Iron Giant. It's a legitimately great. That's not a guilty. No, pleasure. I know, but the reason I bring it up is because that's a legitimately great animation. Uh-huh. Oh, is it? I think it's from '99. Whatever. Anyway, I was buying it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The nice. DVD, and I ran into a guy I went to school with. Uh huh. And he was like, "Oh, what are you buying this bloody kids movie for?" And I'm like, "Ah, it's not. It's not for me. I, it's it's for my niece." Uh huh. I didn't have a niece then. And I still don't have still a niece. Still don't have a niece now, <laughs> right? Lie. You begged all your siblings <laughs> to be like, Give me a niece to validate this story. So <laughs> This guy keeps coming at me on my Facebook page. <laughs> Every time I post a, a Crunches video, he's like, what about that Iron Giant? Yet to see your niece holding that copy of the Iron Giant on DVD. <laughs> so anyway, but that's a good movie. But I felt at the time, now yes. I wouldn't give a shit. I'd be like, yeah, I like this. Uh-huh. Shut up. Anyway, he's a nice guy anyway. I don't know. It's not important. Uh, now, is this a bad movie? Tell me. No. But uh. the Bo- Boondock Saints, where do you rank Where do you rank that? No, that's not a good movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Boondock Saints, the two Irish guys. And yeah. Billy, Billy Connolly's in it. Yeah, yeah. And they're just, you know, that's that's a movie I feel that now, yeah. if you, you could not go back to that. You would cringe oh, really? at that. I feel you would cringe at that movie. I've seen, we saw the sequel not that long ago because they... At least it maybe five years ago. Yeah. Boondock Saints 2 All Saints Day. The Boondening. The Boondening. Yeah. Keep on Boondening. Never stop. Yeah. Boond on. You don't like Keep it? Keep on man? docking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't like that movie? I'm sure. Look, I, I'm sure I loved it at the time because. Guns spinning people, around. People spinning around. They've got a gun in each hand. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're John Woo in it. That, that director, I mean? like, burnt every bridge after Did that. Because he? He, he spent... He, it took a lot to get this movie released and then... Of course it would. It's got Billy Connolly in it. Yeah. He's a guy who'll, who'll sue God. That's true, he will. Well, yeah. 
Did you say <laughs> that say one? anything. He won't say anything. He'll storm back and forth across the stage. Yeah. Just, just talking Tell about a wacky ad- anecdote. Yeah. Uh, but no, I remember it being a lot of fun. But I guess it is a guilty pleasure if yeah. it's not good. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't remember the sequel being Crash Hot. You know what it does have? It has a stereotype... Or well, maybe it doesn't. Sure. I was going to say it has Willem Dafoe as a stereotype-breaking gay man. Right. But maybe it doesn't. Well, he plays a very aggressive, he's like, yeah, he's homophobic like, gay man. Oh, is he homophobic? I can't no, but he, but he openly has sex with men, but he can't. But he makes fun of them. Right, okay. Yeah, at the oh, same so time. So see, I'm, now I'm conflicted. Well, Mason, I don't know what to tell you. Uh-huh. It's, it's, that's mm. for you to decide. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We'll make it a bonus episode. <laughs> Great. <laughs> anyway, I remember liking it. You got another one? Uh, I'm trying to think of terrible movies from the 90s then that I enjoy sure. somehow. Sure. Here's one. All right. Deep Blue Sea. You enjoy that movie. Yeah, man. Sharks that have got their... Smart sharks. Smart sharks because they had to... They were making an Alzheimer's drug. When they're manufacturing it in a shark's brain, but in doing so... Or testing it... Couldn't test it on a dolphin. Why no, would you? and in doing so, they made the test sharks... It on, don't test it on a mammal. Super test it on a fish. I think Stellan Skarsgård gets his arm torn off. Yeah. And, of course, Samuel L. Jackson... Who you think's going to be the main character... Yeah, gets chomped Very quickly. Yeah, okay, that's fun. Thomas Jane... LL Cool J, <laughs> a woman. Deepest bluest. <laughs> My hat is like a shark spin. <laughs> Classic LL Cool J. His best work, I feel. <laughs> Potentially. Maybe. Uh, what do you remember from it? That's it. It's all <laughs> I literally all I remember. Do you remember the bit where the shark's in the kitchen? No. And it eats the bird? I eats you going to say parents? burger. No, right. Yeah, it eats a burger. It's, it's a delicious burger. But remember, they kind of, they fluctuate in size. Because uh-huh. the sharks are trying to sink the station to get to the people. Uh-huh. Uh, and, no, sorry, to climb the fence, to jump yeah. the fence. And Thomas Jane can, he's a shark wrangler. It's kind of his first breakout <laughs> role. Right. It's kind of spectacular. It's the best Jaws movie that's not Jaws. Except there was that new Blake Lively one, which I yep. haven't seen, but I'm interested in. I love a shark movie. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Even like Jaws 4, even though it's terrible. Yeah. Mm. I was just thinking, are we doing TV shows as well? Whatever, man. Because I was thinking, I'm a big fan of terrible, if we're talking about terrible 90s stuff, I'm a big fan of just terrible 90s superhero, super stuff. Like a guy in a weird motorcycle suit. Yes. powered or Super whatever. Force. Super you know force, exactly what I'm going to talk love, about. Yeah. Which was all on YouTube for a while, but then whoever put them up got ratted out and they all got removed. I don't know who did that, but yeah. you're a prick. That's right. Whoever you are. Yeah. How uh-huh. dare you. All those, just any kind of... It's all washed out and it yeah. looks weird. Yep. And she probably plays saxophone by night. Ah, oh, Nightman. <laughs> Bring back Nightman. And I know they're bad and I will continue to watch them. You watched the Robocop TV series for you bought them, I remember. Did you end up I watched the the TV movies? Yeah. yeah uh-huh. And Oh, they're bad. Yep. That's not a guilty pleasure. They're they're not enjoyable. They're flat out bad. They're flat out bad. Okay, sure. But man, I will if somebody can find me Super Force on DVD or digital or something, yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll look on YouTube. Right? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look on Port Locker. I'll see there. Yeah, Port Locker. you can do that. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. We don't endorse that though. We don't Mason. endorse it. No, that's right. Oh, you know, but Man. but it's a pretty good website so, that I endorse. Yeah. In fact, they, these might come up. Have, have we talked about? Have we talked about the, the show we're gonna do. Are we gonna announce the show. The the bo- little bonus thing we're gonna. Yeah, do? we can talk about it that now. Let's talk about it now. Uh, sure. What's what is we're it? Gonna, we're, we're doing a little. We're gonna intermittently. We're gonna we're gonna trial out a new. That's why I picked this topic. Yeah, Maybe there was a reason. Yeah. Anyway, so we're go gonna on. we're gonna trial out. Uh, uh, maybe a, a little an, an additional short podcast. Yes, it's maybe we're gonna mm, do some little animation, some vi- yep. some YouTube. Well, not stuff. us. Some better people. Some people who are better than yeah. us. Don't yep. entrust us with it. Nah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch some forgotten gems. Yes. Maybe some forgotten terrible stuff, and we're gonna talk about or, it. And comics. And comics. Yeah, yeah. TV shows, movies, whatever goes. Uh, we, we're calling it Caravan of Garbage. Correct. Great it's name. It's gonna be. You. Thank you. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a good time. We've, we've done a couple. We're hoping to get to four. And then take a bit of Try a break because because they're a bit they they're a bit to kind of put together because there's some editors um, and some animation dudes working on them yeah and because they're they're long they're longer videos uh-huh. they're about thirty to forty minute podcasts and then mm-hmm. about twenty minute videos because yeah. they kind of edited down um, to a re- to a reasonable length but they take a bit to kind of yeah organize mm-hmm. so. We'll do four, and then maybe we'll never do it again. Right? Because you know, no promises, man. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's just about we'll see how see how we uh, go. Yeah, as well. but I mean, the, the, all this stuff is very ripe. For, yeah. For that, we oh look, I won't, we won't spoil what we we've shouldn't. Done. No. Yeah. But let me tell you, I saw something I had planned. I had always planned to see from the nineties. I re- I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yes, it's you no did. good. Yeah. But it is definitely it would be on this list. Just. 
whatever I've not put on there on on this on this yep. podcast. That's that's, that's what's going to be a, my first episode of that. Have a guess. Yeah. Tweet at Mason and maybe he tell you. Mm-hmm. He won't tell Big you. Big man, Super Force Viper, which was just oh, an right. ad for the Dodge Viper, Viper yeah, which yeah. was a police supercar yep. that could turn into all variants of the Dodge Viper, <laughs> like all their available models at the time. Oh, that's spectacular. Yeah. Right. Why? Great. Yeah. Mantis. Yeah, the guy who had the weird head. Like the helmet head, didn't he? It was like a that was Super Force. What was Mantis? Name? Mantis was a uh, man in a wheelchair who had a oh, super suit and, right. he could, and, and he, he could, could run about. He could run about yeah. exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. good stuff. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see Guy Pierce's The Time Machine? You have a very loose definition of the term guilty pleasure. I feel you don't like the movie The Time Machine. No, Guy Pierce. Uh-huh. Does it not? Does it also have? Does it have a British some sort of British pop star in it? Yes, it does. Uh-huh. Samantha Mumba, I want to say. Samantha Mumba, yeah. But I might Samantha be wrong. Mumba, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, so he... Ba- the female Craig David. Correct. That's not true. I don't know. <laughs> he, so it, it's basically a retelling of the H.G. Wells classic, uh-huh. but it's real shocky. Uh-huh. And he's kind of this... Yeah, he's this dude who's trying to prevent the death of his fiance. Mm-hmm. So he's, he does it again and again and again. Or, or, or No, he plant. That's the reason he builds a time machine, sorry. Uh-huh. And in doing so, he realizes that he can't actually change the past uh-huh. because if he changed the past that means he'd never have he'd never have built the time machine to go back to uh-huh to save her does yes. that make sense yes so he can't, it's a paradox uh-huh. so basically and then he acts, that is a paradox. he gets knocked out and he goes like millions of years in the future and it's this weird kind of weird segregated society where there's like sort of primitive people but there's also underground the telepathic monsters uh-huh. and more yeah and Jeremy Irons is an albino mind reader <laughs> or something it's insane but great mm. or is it no <laughs> just want to be clear no, i like it no. that's the point of guilty pleasures mason yeah exactly you're supposed to fine. like him what i'm doing here is i'm testing <laughs> your ability to enjoy a guilty pleasure film or tv show right right mm. well we, me running through that plot in my head yeah i stand by it great what else you got i should stress that super force is about an astronaut who comes back to earth and discovers that his With brother, super force. his brother who was a cop, has disappeared. Um, and then, uh, so he also joins the police force. And then, beca- force. then be- becoming the joining the police force isn't enough to help find his brother. So he goes to like, so he goes to the guy who was John Steed in the Avengers TV series, who is dead and lives on a television screen. And his friend builds him a super what? super astronaut suit that he can use to fight crime on a motorcycle. And then it turns out his brother's been replaced with a robot. Replaced and then he met, with a robot or then he met, is a robot? No, he was replaced with a robot. With an actual robot, yeah. like, a, like a human yeah. replica Correct. 90s yeah. robot. Yeah. And at one point he meets aliens. I was supposed to have that go for him. Yeah, real well. Well, like you're pretty good, Super Force. <laughs> Your planet's not worth destroying. Mm, not when there's so precisely. much Super Force going on. Anyway, that's pretty good. Did you see Not Another Teen Movie? Yes. It's the only one of those Not Another... It's a scary movie. Epic movie, whatever. superhero movie. It's, it's the, the only, only good one, one that's right. bearable. Yeah. Is that because of the presence of Chris Evans? It might be. But also, mm. I remember there being some pretty good jokes in it. There's a it's the last one that of, has jokes in it. Yeah. And it's not just, re- oh, look, it's Britney Spears. Yeah. Or, mm, you know, right. Look, it's Borat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Although those things are pretty <laughs> funny now that you mention it. I'm just imagining somebody just pushing Britney Spears in a frame. Wouldn't that be funny? That would be Try really funny. Try to cut her hair off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a woman's breakdown is funny, isn't it? It sure is. Mm-hmm. Though that, um, there's a Breakfast Club recreation scene with the original principal. That's which true, Which is yeah. quite good. Yep. Uh, no, I think it's, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's yep. pretty, pretty bloody solid. And it's weird that he's now... Chris Evans is more famous than Freddie Prinze Jr., who's the the lead in that. Kind of yeah, the, right. The lead in the She's All That, which was yeah, just kind of the real one, heavily based off. Mm. But uh, no, I think yeah, the the strength of that movie is definitely in Chris Evans. Yeah, and a, that they wrote they wrote jokes, actual and jokes. Like there's you know there's a bit where where she's uh, he's like yeah he learns that you if if you want to win this woman over you sing a song with her name in it and he sings Janie's got a gun <laughs> and then <laughs> she's tasered by. She's tasered by campus security. Absolutely. It's pretty good. And they do that thing where you could pick any girl in school and, you know, and I'll turn her into the prom queen or uh-huh. whatever and they pick the, the clearly very attractive girl who's in paint covered overalls. <laughs> That's right, yeah. And he's like, oh, no. Oh, right, 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 It's yeah. fantastic. And it's got that other guy who's great in it, the blonde guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's, he's gone on, he went he's on in Dumb and Dumber. He's oh. in Cellular. No, he's in something that's, that's, he was in a TV series that was quite good. If I recall. Super Force. No, it wasn't Super Force. That is quite good. <laughs> um, what's your favourite? What's your favourite of Con Air or The Rock? I hate Con Air, but I love The Rock. 
I like them both, but The Rock is a genuine. I think a genuinely good movie. Oh, then skip it. All right. Yeah. Um, Starship Troopers. Is that bad or? Oh, I think it's great. Is it not great? I mean, it's schlocky and yeah, it's see? dumb, there we and, go, but yeah. it's also because it, it's on the verge of being genius in a way. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. That's overstatement. <laughs> that's definitely an overstatement. But it's got satire. It's got themes. It's got bloody. The guy from Bloody the Blonde Guy, Barney from How I Met Your Mother. Yes. It's got Casper Van Diem. Mm-hmm. It's got Michael Ironside. Mm-hmm. Pretty bloody good, mate. Uh, what about the sequels to that? They're just not good. They're not good. They I don't. Maybe I've only seen three. Yeah, they miss the point entirely, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Here's one. Okay. What about Demolition Man? Love it. Although I haven't seen it since it came out. Yeah. On VHS. Sure. So. But I remember it being spectacular. Or I recorded off the television. Right, right, right. On VHS. Sure, I know, I know what a VHS mm-hmm. yeah. is. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's. I think that's the most over the top, like Stallone '90s movie that's not bad. Okay. Like, like you, Dread is bad. Dread, Judge Dread is a bad movie. I mean, I know a lot of people kind of enjoy it because it's so bad. Uh huh. Sure. But you know what? There is some. Like, the costume's not bad. There's some yep. pretty good special effects. Rob One of the ABC Warriors makes an appearance. Yeah, man. Like, you know the ABC Warriors. I know him, I think. He, fight, he fights, like, mutants in the bloody wasteland or yes, whatever. Yes, he does, yeah. He fights a big robot. Mm. Um, One his, of the ABC Warriors. Yeah, his brother <laughs> is pure. His brother's in it. Yeah, it's um, Amanda Amand Sante. Yeah. yeah. And they're twins, apparently. Yes, yeah, uh-huh. Even though they look nothing alike. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. Twins don't have to be identical. That's a really good point. But I guess if you're a genetic clone of that person, maybe you should be. Yeah, good point. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. You can put that on my highlight reel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Because uh, i got a few more. Okay, go ahead. I know you've seen this. All right. Because I think we watched it together. John Carpenter's Vampires. Did you say John Carpenter? Carpenters. No, you, should, you definitely <laughs> said, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this movie as if it's the real thing that you've said, John Carpenter's Vampires. Yeah. Yeah. It's got um, One of the bald ones. It's yeah, it's got, uh, what's his name? James Woods. James Woods, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't remember enough of it. The book it's based on is very good. Really? It's called Vampires, the S is a dollar sign. <laughs> and it's by, wait for it, John Stakely. <laughs> is that a real, that's a pen name. That's not a pen name. He's done other, he did um, He did another book called Armour, which is kind of a Starship Troopers kind of book as okay. well. He's actually a guy, guy called John Stakely. Right, right. And I, yeah, and I was very excited for this movie to come out because I'm like, I really love that book. And you loved this movie? I have no memory of it. I remember... Oh, can't, uh, sort of. They, There's remember, a lot of boner jokes. They re- yeah, there certainly is. <laughs> like, James Woods is a really kind of... He sets the rules of the universe at the start. He's like, these are vampires. He uh-huh. has a great speech in a car yeah. about the, the flaws of the, vamp- the, the, of the vampire and how to bloody get around them. Mm-hmm. The fattest Baldwin is in it. But is he now the fattest Baldwin? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Mm. Yeah. A few seasons on 30 Rock makes you pretty fat. It certainly does. Mm. Yeah. That we kind of went into that. Yeah, you know, really yeah. yeah. Still a handsome man. I know, right? I maintain. I will not take that away from him. Is there a Dust Till Dawn TV series? Have we talked yes, about that? Yes, I haven't seen it. Okay, Do right. you like Dust Till Dawn? Again, it's a... I don't remember think. I don't remember loving it. I, yeah. I, I uh, A woman turns into a snake. It, I love the, the twist. Yep. How, like, it starts and it's like, it's just this kind of gangster film. Uh-huh. They're like low-level hitmen or whatever it is. And then... They go to this bar and then it just turns. Oh, I see. I went in knowing it was. You a went. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Surely we all did though. Oh, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But that that's cool. I think that's yeah. a cool premise. I don't know what. This guy's got the the penis gun. That's a good joke, isn't it? That's pretty Do you good. Yeah. Yeah. What a great joke. Ah, oh, so good. Is that a good movie? Who's, who's, who's to, to say? See, that? that's the thing. Some 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 of these some of these are, for me are guilty pleasure movies. Because I've not seen them in so long. Right, right, right. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm like, yeah, I def- it's fun and I defend these to the death or whatever. But I'm sure if I, if somebody said, all right, let's watch it. I don't, I disagree with you. Let's watch it together. Yeah. I'm sure I'd sit there and 10 minutes in, I'd be like tugging at my collar going, oh, oh. I've made a mistake here. This is, this is a waste of everyone's time. Well, let me tell you something, Mason. I watched Mask of Zorro today and it was amazing. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Pete mentioned this the other day. You know, Pete. Hello, Pete, if you're listening. Oh, my friend Pete. Yeah, in an yeah. email. Um, oh, yeah. He said... That, Hollywood Pete, we call that's him. That's right. He um, he uh, he recommended Reign of Fire to everybody when it came the out. The dragon film. Yeah. yeah the uh-huh. Matthew McConaughey Christian Bale. I really like that film. I th- that's what I said. I'm yeah. like, dude, that's a great film. Mm-hmm. Is it 
I mean, I don't no, know. Really. I loved it at the time. There's a bloody, I think there's was... a bloody squirrel suit attack on a dragon. Yeah, man, great. Oh, it's so good. I like that movie a lot. They triangulate a dragon's position and then try to pin it to the ground. It's got two great suits. actors in it. Yeah, one of whom at the time we didn't know was a great actor. Matthew... Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. <laughs> It's just, I remember the special effects being really good for the time. Mm-hmm. They probably don't hold up as well, but those dragons were, they make a point to be, to be like, no, these aren't magical and mystical. These are just terrible monsters uh-huh, that have yeah. ruined our planet. Mm. Yeah. And I I just remember it being a lot of, a lot of fun. And there's a bit where Christian Bale is recreating Star Wars for the kids. And they're like, oh, that's they're right. like did yeah. you, did you, did you make up this story? And he's like, yep, I, I, <laughs> I did. I made up this. Oh. This is fine. Yeah. Oh. I love a. I love a, a fun, quirky Christian Bale, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's great. It's just a fun-loving Christian Bale. He, he is, yeah, he does it all the time. He, oh, he can't he stop it. He has fun, he trashes your lights. He certainly does. You know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, Rain of Fire's a good one. You got mm. any others? No, but I'm sure I can find one. Mm. What about... Yes. I, the, I think this is a good show, and I mentioned before, I really like Supernatural. I haven't watched the entirety of last season because uh-huh. I'm waiting until yeah. it comes on Netflix and I'm going to... Uh-huh. But there, here's the thing: there's never going to be a final season. That's okay. I'm okay with it. It's just no, but I mean, it's just going to keep going forever until people get sick of it. No, it's still going to keep going. They'll just they'll re they'll bring it back. It's going to be like The Simpsons. It's never going to leave. Surely, Simpsons will leave eventually, right? No, it literally oh, will never. Good lord! In the future, future generations will swear allegiance to The Simpsons. I feel right. Like. <laughs> do people watch mm. The Simpsons? I guess they do. Yeah, you know what? The first GI Joe movie. I haven't seen the, the second animated one. one. No. Oh, the uh, yeah, Rise no. Of Cobra. I like that movie too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what? been universally panned, surely. Definitely. What do you like it's about good fun. it? Fun. I like that I saw it on a plane. What did you like about it? Oh, so you could drift in and out. <laughs> Pretty much. And the the altitude. Was no, I remember because I was overseas and I hadn't uh-huh. seen a movie for six months. Yeah. And then I saw GI Joe on a plane. I hadn't seen a new movie for six months, uh-huh. and I was like, "This is amazing." Yeah, but it's got everything that you would hate. You'd think would you'd hate? Right. It's got Brendan Fraser. <laughs> He's in it. It's one of the Wayans. One of the Wayans. <laughs> Channing Tatum before people thought he was good. Yep, it's got all those things and you'd think it'd be terrible. Yeah. But I had a real fun time watching it. But the second it. one is terrible. Yeah. It's got bloody Eccleston's in it. He is too. Is it Deathstro. All. Deathstro? Deathstro, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Great. They melt the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Maybe it's the second one. There's nanites. Nanites. Yeah. Oh. There's, uh, there's super suits. There are super... That's exactly. every. You'd think I'd hate every part. Of, there's no super suits in G.I. Joe. No. The but original cartoon slash man. action figure slash yeah. Marvel comic from back in the day. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But I mean, that the, the Marvel comic did at one point have um, Cobra fighting somebody in a bear suit. So that's... that probably where they yeah. got it from. Probably. Like, can we do a bear suit? Yeah. Probably not. Do a bear suit. Do a, do a super suit. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they're going to bring back that series? Or, I mean, continue it? Oh, no. Because The Rock not. took over. He's too busy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He can only he can only lead one or at most three franchises at the same time. I reckon he could do six. No, but uh, he's doing the Journey movies probably. <laughs> yeah, right. They're making them still. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh Fright Night, n- the new one, Didn't the reboot. See it. It's kind of great. Saw the old one. It's garbage. <laughs> we know the fun fact about one of the guys in that. <laughs> Go back and if listen you don't, to that. If you don't, yeah, that's it. One of, one of our episodes. What yeah. episode would it be? Someone put it on I, very early. Uh-huh. Someone go on, if someone on the Reddit, the yes. Weekly Planet Reddit, could put the number of that episode in the timestamp, that'd be great. That'd be great. I have no idea. The char- in the original Friday Night, the character of Evil Eddie went on to have a very... The actor who played Evil Eddie... A very illustrious... A very illustrious storied career in the film... A film industry. Yes. Just just for anybody who's... And it's quite the journey. Isn't it, though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, the new one, Anton Yelchin's in it. Yeah, and that's right. Colin Farrell is the vampire, uh-huh. and it kind of it messes with the it uses the law that they kind of established in the in the first one, uh-huh. but they kind of twist it a bit. Right, like, okay. You know, you, a vampire can't enter a house yep. until, unless you invite them, so he blows up the house. Oh yeah. Uh, there's the David Tennant is the he's like this um this Chris Angel styled magician, uh-huh. uh, but also he's had run-ins with vampires in the past. Okay, and that's something he's kind of putting behind him but then he's kind of dragged back into this into this battle uh-huh. it's it's pretty solid man yeah like, okay. especially for a reboot yeah mm. I'd, I'd, I'd recommend that as a guilty pleasure horror movie mason oh yeah i think that's all we never we're never across horror movies no, we should not. get more into them 
Yeah. Don't probably. breathe. That's the new one. That's... Never breathe. You know what I do for horror movies? What's I that? go, I wonder what. You the... cover your face with your hands and you go, no, 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 Turning off the light and you can see the woman standing there in the darkness. You're thinking of the Pixar logo. I am, I'm a, yeah. yeah. You're thinking of I that terrifying that light. <laughs> lamp that comes in and it crushes, it sentient, the, yeah, crushes the, the eye. That poor ball. Oh. Did it crush? Does it crush a ball? Another one? No, it crushes, it crushes an eye. It doesn't also crush a ball in Maybe. a short. There's a short Pixar Oh, okay, right. Eyes. About the lamp. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. You know what I also like? The Lost World, the Jurassic Park sequel. It's not as good by mm-hmm. like a long stretch. Yeah. But it's got the bit where the T-Rex stomps through the city, so that's okay. pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anymore? Uh, well, speaking of The Rock, the last one, uh, and we've mentioned it before because I'm sure we reviewed it like quite recently. Is right, the, right. The last Hercules movie. Yeah, that was fun. Real good. Yeah. Was it panned? I don't think, not universally, no. Okay, great. Okay. I think some people enjoyed mm. it. That surprised me a lot. I thought that was yeah. going to be real terrible. Correct. And it's... Oh, then it's off the list. Then it's okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's yeah. pretty okay. Okay, I've got, I've got one more here. Krampus okay. uh, from last year. Do you see Krampus? No. It's on Netflix now. Maybe I should watch Krampus. Well, there's various versions I'm of I'm sure there's heaps of Krampus, Krampus movies because it's out of copyright. This is the one with Adam Scott. It's the one. It's it's the property that people realized was out of copyright all at the same time. You know what I'm bloody sick like of? Like bloody, um, um, what's that property? It's got David Keckner in it as well. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. They're so what were we going to say? What's the property? Um... I've forgotten his name. I was going to do a joke and I've forgotten. Well, you're an idiot. The Australian guy, Sam Worthington. That property everybody realised. Doesn't Attack matter. of the Titans? No, I was going to say Sam Getting Worthington. Getting square? <laughs> everybody realised Sam Worthington was out of copyright. <laughs> oh, okay. I just decided to use him. Um, yeah. Yeah, Krampus is fun. But you know what? You know when Adam Scott. Yeah. Huh. There's a there's like every now and then every Christmas you get a YouTube video and they, they, it's like, hey, do you believe there's this crazy tradition where there's an evil Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We know, man. We know, it's yeah. been around for like... That's been common knowledge for like twenty years, right? Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Adam Scott's in it. Adam Scott's in it. Is it funny? It. Yeah, in parts. Huh. Darkly humorous. Okay. I think uh, we've talked about Operation Endgame, right? What's that? It's Tony that... Collette's in it as well. Huh? Yeah. It's it's a it's a weird weird movie. Well, then I don't I don't like it. Okay. This isn't a it's not a guilty pleasure movie because it's not it's okay it's fine <laughs> sure but it, I mean nobody even knows it exists. I'm sure we've talked about it before, but it's a it's a movie. It's like a weird. It's like an espionage comedy action movie that takes a weird turn into horror about two thirds of the way what through. What is it? It's like an espionage. And comedy? what's it called? Operation Endgame. Okay. But it's got it's got Jeffrey Tambor. It's got Adam Scott. It's got Zach Galifianakis. You've talked it's about Rob this. It's got Rob Corddry. Yeah. It's got Ellen Barkin. It's got this weird all star comedy cast. Yeah. And I don't know why it exists. Forty percent Rotten Tomatoes. Four point yeah. nine IMDb. It's interesting. Yeah. It's got a very generic cover. Right? <laughs> Give it that. It's but so odd. Yeah, that's real weird. People should check it out just to let me know if they liked it. Have you it seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. And you liked it? Yeah, kind of. Okay, fair enough. Well, it's got a good cast. But again, it's got a weird turn. Yeah. Like it doesn't end like you'd think it's going to end. Okay. Mm. So it- And they pl- it's like two... It's like this guy is sort of brought into this espionage agency, which is kind of like the CIA, CIA except there's two opposing teams yeah, yeah. that kind of counterbalance each other. Right, right. And then they kind of get it. Then there's like a security lockdown and they all, both teams have to try and kill each other. Okay, right. It's very odd. Interesting. Mm. Should mention before we wrap this up, yeah. first Caravan of, Courage, Caravan of Garbage episode. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot. <laughs> yeah, probably. Will happen... This Thursday, okay, there'll be great. an extended one on the audio, just wherever you're listening to this. So yep. If, and there's also one on my Bonus YouTube in channel. Your feed. That's right. Subscribe, Subscribe if you haven't and already. You can bloody get that. Get it. Get it. Just appear. And you can find. You'll be like, oh, I'm having a bad day at the office. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. That's, that's the noise you'll, you'll make. That's yeah. the noise you'll make. Make uh-huh. sure you do. Hmm. Uh, Don't have a bad day at the no. office though. But there's also it's if you want to see visuals to that. Um, mm-hmm. It's a shorter version, yep. which is equally dynamic though, Mason, Ooh. on my YouTube channel. I've seen, I've seen some, you showed me some yeah, test yeah, stuff did, from yeah, that. Yeah. It looks so real nice. It does look a real nice. Mm-hmm. Good, Mason, let's do the next, what is it? So that's going to be the Weekly Planet yep. YouTube feed. Yeah, it's going to be, the Weekly Planet YouTube feed is going to have the audio version, but on my YouTube channel, it's going to have the, the picture version with oh, pictures. Okay, okay, cool. Just yeah, I get it. Subscribe to it all, I guess. Yeah, just subscribe to everything. There. If you like something, subscribe to it. Or don't. If you don't like something, unsubscribe. Oh, don't don't put that idea in their heads. Well, I think it's important they know. <laughs> Fine. <laughs>
<laughs> Mason, you know what's time Chekhov's for? Chekhov's unsubscription. <laughs> you tell them they can unsubscribe. By the third act, they'll bloody unsubscribe, mate. You know what it's time for? Ah, it's our famous segment. What yeah. we're reading? Yep. What, we're gonna, what, what gonna are read. we going to read? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Nailed it. Great. 150. I'm doing the same. Mason, you're definitely reading or watching something, or will? Uh, you know what? Well, I watched uh, Hardcore Henry. I mentioned that earlier. Yes, you did. On your recommendation, I watched The Nice Guys. And? Real good fun. Liked it. Shane good. Black. I'm glad. I thought you great, would. Great people. Yeah, yeah. It's good. You feel for these characters, even though they are not good. No. They're not good people. Well, they're, they're real bad. So, they're not so bad. Yeah, they're, you know. I'm glad because I made the proclamation that you would definitely like it. That's true. And yeah. you did. Uh, also, I've been listening to Auntie Donna Have a Podcast. Do they? Sketch comedy group Auntie Donna Have a Podcast. What's the podcast? Is it Sketch Comedy Podcast? No, it's just them mucking about. Chatting, just just having a bit of a muck oh, about. Guys, man, they're really very good. silly. You told me you had a something of theirs that you were going to give to me. Can't find and it, and then you didn't. Um, what was it? I can't find it. Well, didn't tell me. Oh, it's just a bloody stubby holder. Ah, yeah. you son of a bitch! Yeah. Give me another one. All right, I'll find, I'll find, I'll find it. <laughs> I love those guys. Yeah, it's pretty Real good. Funny. Just them being, just being silly billies. Yeah, I get a mention from one of them, and then the other two can't remember who I am. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> you like episode six or seven or something like that, because they they my full name is mentioned. And I don't think they know me from my as my full name. Right, right. So, or they don't good. know you at all. Yeah. Or well, they don't remember you. No, they remember me. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I had lunch with Broden a while back. <laughs> I bet you did. Yeah, I did. You dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I watched uh, Donald Glover's new show. Oh, what's uh, it called? Atlanta. Again? Yep. Uh, he's a there's this kind of up and coming rap superstar in the making. Yep. And Donald Glover's kind of this. He's his cousin slash hustler slash want to be music uh, manager, uh-huh. and it's kind of about their adventures together, uh-huh. and it's quite funny. Yeah, it's it's very there's very somber in tone at times, Mason. Uh-huh. It's about the real world, man, and the rap industry. And when they play <laughs> the rap music, yes, I'm like, is this good? Because I don't know anything about <laughs> music, right, right. so maybe it's good, maybe it isn't. But I really like the show. Yeah. So I think the first one's on. No, it is the first one's on YouTube. So is Donald Glover rapping real raps? No, he's he's not the rapper in it. Okay. Yeah. Who is the real rapper? Is, uh, is it cousin. a real rapper? I don't know. I have okay. no idea. Right. right. But uh, yeah, it's pretty funny, man. That's okay. pretty bloody funny. That is pretty. One funny. of the jokes I enjoyed that it's got the the rapper guy has a, a kind of a stoner <laughs> loose unit friend that he kind of hangs is there a term with. for rapper guy? No, is that's there a more it. concise that's what term for rapper guy? Rap star, rapper. What is kid? What is kid rock called? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. <laughs> he's a rock superstar. Mm, that's, yeah, that's he's a rock superstar. Himself, that's right. It? Yeah, yeah. But where he says that nobody. He's sa- a real uncle cracker, if you know what I mean. Sure. You know. He says something like. Nobody's nobody's seen. Um, I think it's nobody's seen Biggie since his funeral. Uh-huh. And Donald Glover's like, yeah, that's how funerals work. Right. That was a really good joke. Mm. All right, Mason. Yes. Get it ready. Get it lined up. What? Are, get what ready? What are you talking about? The let the, the letters thing we have every week. I remind you every week. Oh. And every week you let us down. You're letting us down right I'm now. I'm not. I'm bloody Mason. Look, now, okay, I had a torrent going, that's my fault. No, actually, it is, it's it's my fault because I assumed you would have a torrent going or there'd be somebody in the other room watching Gilmore Girls, so I turned my Wi-Fi off because I played oh, this out of my phone. Oh, okay. So, uh, so that was my fault because that's come out of my Thanks, phone. Thanks, Optus or Telstra or 3 or Virgin or whoever you're with. Optus. Yeah. Oh, it's jerks. gone down to 3G. Unbelievable. What is this? What is this? The Stone the Age? bloody Dark Ages, mate. God. Yeah. God. Get out of here, phone. Got some letters here, Mason. I think they're all DC related. Oh, love DC. Do is you? it about DC memes? I love DC memes oh, on man. Instagram. We, talk, we haven't talked about DC memes. We haven't talked memes. about DC memes, but... Bring it up. I love them. <laughs> go, to, go on Instagram, search hashtag DC meme. Boy, there's just some great memes on there. Just Do you want some, to just break down what they generally are? Generally, they are... They're very... They're not pithy. No. They're just... Long-winded. They're very long-winded. <laughs> like, it'll be a... They they usually Marvel versus DC memes, yeah, yeah, and and it's a very long, elaborate like series of panels. It's of it's a sort of a text. It's a bloody like text. yeah. It's there's a lot of text. It's like a manifesto, yeah, about why DC movies are better than Marvel movies, right? And right. there'll be some. Oh, they're so good. And it normally ends with Ben Affleck telling Robert Downey Jr. that he's Batman. Yeah, awesome. they're, they're so good. Yeah, you you text me them during the week. I te- look sometimes if I have to text you about something, and I'm like, this text text isn't very interesting. It's lacking punch. It's lacking punch. I'll send you a me a DC right, right. that I found. They're so good. I can read one out Please if you want. Please do because you've sent me quite a few. Good. Do you know I've got you in my phone as Jason? 
just because I think it's funny. That's that's <laughs> a, quite all right. That's okay. I'm I feel, I'm honoured. Okay, that's not a good. I mean, they're all not good ones. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this one, this is the one that makes the most sense. Right. It's a picture of Iron Man and Captain America, and it says, "Wear masks. Everyone knows them. Everyone know them. Know them. Sorry, <laughs> I just self-corrected that in my head. And then it's got Superman and Wonder Woman. It says, "Don't wear masks." No one know them. <laughs> mm. This one, this one, it's a picture of the Joker. Yeah. Uh, the Jared Leto Joker. Oh, uh, yeah. It says, was in SS, Suicide Squad, for 11 minutes, already more terrifying than these guys. And then below it, it's got Loki, Ultron, Whiplash, whatever the bad guy was in <laughs> Thor The Dark World, Red Skull, Ronan the Accuser, Baron Zemo, and... Mandarin. Yeah, Ben Kingsley's Mandarin. Yeah. Disagree. Also... Really complicated. They're so complicated. You have to know who all those characters are. I was struggling. Anyway, I bloody love them. Well, you just said the guy from Thor The Dark World. Yeah, he did. Christopher Eccleston, who you mentioned before, oh, yeah. but you still couldn't think yeah, of it. All right. Good stuff. All right, Mason. Anyway, I love those memes. I keep love them. them. Keep them and going. And again, you don't, have to, you don't have to pick a side. No. Just like movies that are like good. like both. It's fine. Just like whatever you want. It's yeah. fine. This is from uh, Tim Coogan. I, I like memes. Yeah, I, I know them. you do. Mm, send me a D- send me your favorite DC memes. Have you seen some? <laughs> yes. DC Marvel memes, they're my favorite. I don't care who's who, whose side you're on, send me a good DC Marvel meme. Get into it. Mm-hmm. Remind me at the end of this to read out some guilty pleasures of people on Twitter. Oh, yeah, great. But I meant to do that earlier, but nice. I'll do it after the end of the letters. Uh, Tim says, now that Jeff Johns is uh, CCO of DC, do you think... Oh, our- that's too many. He's the DC CU CCO. Yes. Do you think our... He's the DC Cucko. <laughs> do you think our chances of getting yes. a good... We, we're referring good- to him as DC Cucko DC from Cucko, now on. DC Cucko, yep. Of getting a good Green Lantern movie have gone up. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. He loves that's Green Lantern. Reaches. That's right. Mm. I mean... We're definitely getting a Green Lantern movie at some point. Yep. But that's probably... I'd say he's probably pushed that. Yeah. Because he, he did the... He he rebooted it in the mid-2000s, didn't he? Yeah, he rebooted a lot of stuff. Like yeah, yeah. the Justice Society and all that sort of stuff. Right, and, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And pretty successfully. Yeah. A lot of that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, no, I, I think having him in the mix, that's not going to hurt. Yeah, I would love to see another He loves Green Hal Lantern Jordan as well, doesn't he? Yeah. That'd be really good. Because we're getting a Green Lantern Core movie. Yeah. So we'll and I don't need, I don't think we need an origin. Like, we've had the origin. People no. didn't like it. But I, you could just... And again, you could explain that he's been protecting the... If, if you, he's in space, I mean, man. regardless of which Green Lantern you use, and I'm sure he'll probably use Hal Jordan. Yeah, as, yeah. You know, probably. Uh, but there'll be a few. Yeah, so... I mean, you Hal just, Jordan, John Stewart. You could just have now. him come in and be like... I'm normally protecting this space sector and nothing happens on Earth. Yeah. So I don't need to be here. here. But now... Why are so many buildings knocked down? Yeah, exactly, right? (laughs) And so you'd be like, now I'm back. Yeah, yeah. That'd be good. good. Do you want to see him as an older Hal Jordan with the grey in the temples? Yes, I do. I know you're a big fan of that. Well, Mm. hopefully, Mason. I think he got rid of that, didn't he? I don't remember. What, for vanity's sake? No, no, no. Jeff Johns wrote it out. Oh. Because didn't he he brought back Green Lantern... After Green Lantern went mad and killed everybody? Yes, he did, yeah. Yeah. He he retconned it so it wasn't Hal Jordan going mad. It was Hal Jordan going mad because there was an entity yeah. that made him go in mad. In his mind. In his something. mind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Space bug. That's right. This is from at Mitch Kelly 15. Also, I'm looking forward to what 2016, 17, 18, 19 can do with like rings, you know, Absolutely. Green Lantern special effects. Probably just a lot of fists. <laughs> yeah, tra- a lot of big old fists. Fists and trains. Well, I want to see a green boxing glove. I want to see the classics and I want to see... You want to see some new stuff. And I would like to see different Green Lands doing different stuff. Yeah, because what they can do depends on their imagination and yeah, their right? power, isn't and it? And you've got yeah. your John Stewart who's an architect and all his constructions are like architectural. Some what, sorry? And he's architectural? <laughs> Doesn't okay, matter, right. Mason. I've had a big weekend, yeah. all right? Just ease up. All right. <laughs> Tell, tell us about your big weekend. No. All right. Okay, look, everybody was doing cocaine. And I don't <laughs> do cocaine because I'm too old to start doing cocaine. And how good could Australian cocaine be, really? I mean, really? really. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm just not a drugs guy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not a drugs guy. Yeah. Despite my appearance. <laughs> despite that weird white moustache you have most of the time. <laughs> What's going on there? Why do you love baking so much? What's baking soda for anyway? Yeah. Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. So they all, and they all have, you know, and like... You know, Kilowog's full of passion and he's got passion, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Mm. And Guy Gardner's a real dickhead. And so that's... <laughs> he so is, is. I want to see a Green Lantern with a cast. You know, like they've got a broken arm, so he's got the cast. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Because he's still yeah. out and about, man. Yeah, I love those too. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, sorry. Do you think when he, they do you think they fall asleep? It goes and, off. And, and then they're like, oh, God. That's a this good question. This is healed weird. That's a really good no, question. No, I think it'd be... It'd have to, wouldn't it? It'd have to stay. Yeah, I think it'd yeah. stay. Yeah. Depends on your willpower. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Mitch Kelly, 15. Hashtag oh, you weekly. Won't, pal. <laughs> yes, hashtag weekly planet pod. This is for you. Can you please explain uh, the origin of Deathstroke? And is the son of Batman storyline accurate? The son of Batman. I don't know what that's. Is it the Damian is. Wayne one? I assume. Oh, was there an adaptation? I don't know. Oh, I haven't but, seen it. Don't know. Yes, it is. It's dead on. Okay, great. But Deathstroke's origin. <coughs> yes. Super soldier. Well, he was in the well, army. Well, he was a regular soldier. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's he's bad Captain America. Yeah, in a way, he is bad Captain America. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, he's that's probably the most accurate parallel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's he was a soldier. Uh, his he had a best friend named Wintergreen, mm-hmm, who mm-hmm. later became his butler for some reason. Uh, Gambling he, debts. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was uh, exposed to like a. He, he was inducted into like an experimental super soldier program. It was probably called something else because it's the DC universe. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then he. Is an assassin for hire. Yes, and he like his his origin his origin originally was um in the Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah. Because his son Jericho mm. was in the Teen Titans. Yes, and he was killed. Mm. And then he's he he set up on a very elaborate plot. Yeah. to bring them all down. And he didn't. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work out. They're all still around. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But he has a real. He's he's real. He's not keen on the Teen no. Titans. So and so advanced in combat and weapons and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, and. Stronger than a Have you seen man. Deadpool? Same origin, yeah, basically. Pretty much, but yeah. not as fourth wally or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've actually got a video on it on what's it called? I have to look that up. I oh, know it's why Deathstroke's a good Batman villain. Uh-huh. It's like last week's one. Mm. But yeah, I talk about the origin there if you if you want to check it out, Mason. I, I do. <laughs> Frank Taylor. There is a great in, in Deathstroke the Terminator, yeah. which was his series in the nineties. Yeah. There is a great Deathstroke v Batman fight right like that runs all on the, the way boat? across yeah like and it, it's like runs all the way across the city i'm oh, not right. that one no, yeah. no no but uh there's, it's like uh yeah and it's and death deathstroke comes away the victor oh, in, really? a, in a rare turn okay. because this was before batman won all the time right like yeah. you'd occasionally suffer some losses severe losses yeah, yeah okay but that's um yeah i think it'd be great i think a, a lot of the impetus is this is him batman versus deathstroke in arkham origins yeah because that that's a great yeah, absolutely. That's it's a great, a great fight. Great situation. Cinematic. Very cinematic. Uh, Frank Taylor, 03, says, yeah. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pond, uh-huh. can we finally have some more Shia LaBeouf news this week? So for those we of you can, uh, right? yeah, who are newish to the show, we used to have a recurring segment where we uh-huh. talk about either Shia LaBeouf news or Batman v Superman news because both of them are constantly cropping up circa 2014. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then both went away yeah, because right. the movie came out and Shia La- people stopped giving a shit about Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. But he's come out and said that... I've got a quote here on his role in Suicide Squad, which very nearly happened. Uh-huh. Uh, the character was initially... I've just remembered it's not Jericho that was killed. It was Ravager. Who- he- Deathstroke has two sons. I was going to say. Yeah, thank I didn't want to correct you, though. Okay, cool, thanks. We'll get rude. letters otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> You'd get letters. Yeah. The character was different initially then. Uh, Will Smith came in and the script changed a bit. The character and Tom Hardy's character later played by Joel Kinnaman, got uh, written down to build Will up. And he said, I don't think Warner Brothers liked liked me. I uh, I don't doubt that. I went in to meet and they were like, nah, you're crazy. You're too crazy, exactly. You're a good actor, but not this one. That's, wow, that's... It was a big investment they gave for him them. A, they gave him a whole bunch of really backhanded compliments there, didn't, <laughs> didn't they? they? yeah. I, does that does the story end with, look, they said, I was, they said I was too crazy and a great actor and then everyone <laughs> applauded me. It's one of those. You know, there's, you know, yeah. you know, everybody knows this person, and all their stories end with, and then everybody and then, cheered. Yeah, and mm. everyone agreed that I was the hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a dickhead. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he was going to be the Joel, not the Joel Kinnaman. He was going to be the Scott Eastwood role. Uh-huh. I think that was the uh, that was the idea. Okay, the but, guy who was in that movie. Yeah, exactly. Is, is you wh- guy who set the mine? Yeah, and he died. Yeah, or the okay. or the crocodile man did. Mm. I don't give a shit about Shia LaBeouf. I'm sick of his shit, quite frankly. Right. I mean, we haven't talked about it for a long time. Uh-huh. He just seems like such a wanker. Like, so self-important, but also it's that doing weird stuff just to get attention kind of thing. Yeah, uh-huh. Like, you're not crazy or out there. You're just an idiot. Uh-huh. What are you, like, 28? Fucking get it together. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. What are you doing? Just do coke on the weekends, not all the time, <laughs> you know? Anyway, mm. he's rich. He's probably I'm sure he doesn't care. Uh-huh. And also, he rubbished Steven Spielberg this week. <laughs> Did he for what? For Indiana Jones. He said the whole thing was like a big. It was a big machine. It was a the Indiana Jones four. It's like a yeah. money making production. Wow, like a movie. So you're gonna give you you're gonna give your paycheck back. 
<laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to give your money back? You should probably give your money back for the three Transformers movies you're no, in. No, those ones he said he liked. Oh, so he can keep the money he for those. He can keep money for that right. one. But all the other ones he didn't. Wow. Yeah. You should keep the money for your appearance in the video clip to actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> That I like. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, I'll give uh-huh. him that. Mm. Maybe he's not. Uh, maybe, maybe he's okay. No, see, that's the thing. That that song is great. <laughs> yeah, but that and he, the video he didn't clip make is it, great. Yeah. But he didn't make it. He's just at the end clapping, and yeah. you go, "Oh, he's a good sport." Then, mm. so maybe you know. Yeah. Mm, no, disagree. Anyway, uh, tweets, Mason. Yes. Oh, guilty pleasure tweets. Yep. Or just regular tweets. Captain Galaxy says porn. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Lee Lahav, who great animation. Check him out, mate. Okay. I've talked about it before. Two two broke girls forever. Wow. Well, Luca Luca T seventeen again. If you hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, Mason, you can see some of these as well if okay. you want. Right. You don't have to though. Little Nikki from Adam J. Rendon. I was trying to think of an Adam Sandler movie that you don't hate. Well, I don't hate. Um, I guess Happy Gilmore. I don't hate Happy Gilmore. That's the best one, but it's good, right? I wouldn't call yeah, it a guilty guess, pleasure because yeah. that's universally people like. I liked that's it. funny. It's got the best jokes. Yep. You know. You sure? You know what I'm talking about? I know. Yeah. James Davenport. He hates hates himself for loving the movie Mean Girls as much as he does. That's actually a great movie. That's a good film. And also, it was written by um, Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aiden O'Hara. Click. Not that Adam Sandler. I was, one. That's no good. That's no good. It. What could you possibly like about that? I mean, good on you for liking it. <laughs> but here's the test: What's good about it? <laughs> Nothing. It's garbage. I've seen some of it. Sure. It's just sad. It's just sad. It's just a sad movie. <laughs> Doesn't he fast forward time or something? And he's yeah, something and he, like that. And then he, he fast forwards through too much time, and his kids are like, "Oh, you'd never were you were never around." Great. Mm. Uh, Dan Layden says, "How to get over with murder? Don't trust the bee in apartment twenty three, which yeah, you enjoy. Good, yeah. Both of those uh, shows yeah. are good. And keeping up appearances, which is garbage." With with Mrs. Bo- Hyacinth Bouquet. I hate that show, man. Yeah, no, I had it too. Uh, the film guy, Airheads. Remember? Oh, no, I said I said a different one, didn't I? You, you remember? Said, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, DC Doctor, Mall Cop. <laughs> it's not good and it's weirdly entertaining. At Paul least. Blart, Mall Cop. Yeah, at least it's okay. not Spectre. Uh-huh. Uh, Boomer says, Jersey Shore. Don't know why, don't judge me. Uh, Graham Smith. I saw an episode Phantom of Jersey Menace. Shore. I've only seen one episode. Did someone yell the cabs are here? No, but what happened was it was basically it was a guy walking along, I guess, the pier of the Jersey Shore, and this was like a couple of seasons in, probably, so people knew of him, right? And so this guy kept coming up to this guy and being like, "You're not, you're not from the Jersey Shore. You're, you're not. You're did like from the like you're not native to the Jersey right. Shore, I guess." And and this guy kept like harassing him, and then there was just a fight. Nice. It's no good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? D- DC Doctor, Green Lantern as what well. Is, what is that? The movie Green Lantern. Oh, okay. Oh, name. I see. I thought there yeah. was a TV series called Corey, DC the first Doctor. Transformers. Yeah, no, no. I don't that movie is quite that. good up until, it's it's quite good up until the point where the Transformers are playing hide and seek outside of Shia LaBeouf's house. Right, right. When you're like, couldn't they just transform into, into cars, cars and, and be just, around the yeah, house? Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sean says Daredevil 2003 and Terminator 3. Don't judge me, goat. <laughs> I kind of like those movies as well. That's okay. Daredevil has the playground fight, which everybody thinks is super dumb, but I think is delightfully charming. Great. Mm. It is dumb. Mm. Uh, Dick- and, it, and it blossomed into a real life, but now ended romance. <laughs> Correct. Thanks, Hollywood. Uh, Dick Willy Warpig 3 says Spider-Man 3. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Dick Willy Warpig 3. <laughs> yeah. uh, a movie called Ben. He's very supportive on Twitter. Thank you, Ben. Uh, the 2005 Charlie and the, Cho- Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie, just because I watched it as a kid. And oh also, boy! And also Lake. Wow! Yeah, and also Lake Placid. I'd agree with Lake Placid. Is that the giant? Yeah, crocodile giant movie? crocodile one. Mm-hmm. Brad Love, uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Never seen it. No. Leon, Toy Soldiers. Is it good? I don't remember. Which one is Toy Soldiers? Oh, the, the Sean Aston one. Is it? Oh, I, I was thinking of Small Soldiers. Small Soldiers is good, <laughs> right? Uh, Jim Bob Squarepants says the breakup with Jennifer Aniston and uh, can't be good. And uh, mm-hmm. can't guy. be good. Yeah. Uh, Sean says, can Batman v Superman be considered a guilty pleasure? Ooh. But yeah, okay. Se- but seriously, yeah. New Girl, he says. Gravity- I've seen some New... No, I'm, I'll, I'll happily put New Girl into the guilty pleasure category. Sure. I've seen New Girl. It's pretty good. I have a good, good time. Uh, at for v- a good fun. At Vic Gerg says, it was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I dropped it, so I guess <laughs> it's not so pleasurable after all. Mm. I guess not. If you're not having fun, walk away. Yeah. It's good rules. Mr. Two Moments. Uh, Gotham. Uh, I can see that. Mark Hardy says, uh, discuss how Looper is the poor man's time cop. Discusses how. <laughs> Interesting. 
You love Looper. No. Uh, Sherlock is fun to watch from Auden Chamberlain. I like Sherlock. Oh, no. This guy's like me. Just me says, yeah, Mr. Sunday Movies videos. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Got ya. You got me. Got ya. They're universally panned, but he enjoys them anyway. <laughs> uh, Andy Chow says, Battlefield Earth, best movie ever. Who wouldn't love John Travolta as a seven foot tall alien? Me. Dogs run, run the planet. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Heroes All Seasons, uh, despite every one of them, uh, everyone hating season one and one, two, three, four. But uh, from Aya, one more, Mason. The Shannara Chronicles is total shit and thoroughly entertaining from Carl Drongo. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I've seen all the Shannara Chronicles and, and he's absolutely right. Huh. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's pretty entertaining. That's the show for this week, Mason. We did it. Don't forget to do all these things Mason will list. Um... Brush your teeth and floss. Flossing is very important, especially <laughs> floss getting older. First, floss first. Yeah, man. You get What's the because you get the gunk out and then you brush over the top. Oh, machine wow. over the top. I'm gonna try that tonight. Please do. Thank you. Good, good advice. I do floss. It's important. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Mm. There was a recent study about it. it and? It's not important, but I think they're wrong. I don't think they have enough data. I've uh, well, when I got one of my teeth fixed, I've got a gap at the back. Oh yeah. Which uh, which is just big enough that it sometimes catches stuff so I always that's huh. so I thought about getting it fixed is that where you have that speech impediment correct hmm. <laughs> but I thought about getting it fixed but then if I get it fixed I probably won't floss so yeah, I just leave it true, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. and live my life man mm-hmm. what else uh, what else should people do or watch or listen to or find uh, us? 20 minutes of exercise a day I do a bit I, sometimes I do a bit more than that Mason oh, yeah. I don't know if you know that about me huh. I like to do my crunches yeah, I, I know God <laughs> God settle your personal vendettas I think is <laughs> Just, just bury some hatchets, people, if you could. That would be great. You'll feel better. You don't have to do so many crunches. Correct. But also, if you yeah. want to follow us on Twitter, we're Weekly Planet Pod. On We're on Twitter. We're on Gmail. We're on Facebook. Correct. We're on Bandcamp with some audio commentaries. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, mm-hmm. you can go to patreon.com slash Movies. Correct. Where you can put in like a buck or two bucks a month or something like that. Or a million bucks. Or a million bucks. <laughs> what is it? Once is $82 million, right? Yeah, yeah. All we have to do is get that once. One well, time. Yeah. No, it wouldn't let me set it. Wouldn't no, let me set right, $82 yeah. million. Dollars. You have to click $82 one million times. Correct. Uh, <laughs> also, if you want to support the show by doing what you'd probably do anyway, yeah, uh, <clears throat> we've got an Amazon affiliate link yep. in the episode description. You just click on that. It goes through a regular Amazon. Buy what you're going to buy anyway. Buy some buy some graphic novels. Buy Super Force on VHS. Correct. For Mason. <laughs> buy it for me. <laughs> buy, buy, buy it for me. And, uh, and you pay the same price and we get a kickback somehow. Yeah, it's pretty great. Who knows? Who knows yeah. why? Um... What else? Thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for our theme songs. Love them. Love them. Um, uh, we're moving all our shirts over to Tee Public. Okay, cool. In the cool. process of doing that. Nice. I'll link that below. Some of them are there. And Ooh, hopefully we can all be there. Very nice. At some nice. point soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod if you want to yeah. contact the show. Follow at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. Yep, That's our friend Robert one. Collings. Correct, correct. There's a Reddit. I should yep. get on the Reddit. I, I know. I say I'm going to get on the Reddit. But it's a what. It's one of those things where once I get in, it takes up all my time. Yeah. I used to be a big fan of the Something Awful for for Right, us, yeah. And it would just take up all my time. Yes. I was always clicking away and typing a little comment and doing a little Photoshop. People have got on the Reddit now. How did you guys stumble across a Weekly Planet podcast on the Reddit? Gypsy Curse. Gypsy Curse. Well, mm-hmm. that's how we stumbled yeah. into it. But, uh-huh. uh it's good to see a lot of people said they went through YouTube videos, which is glad. I'm glad of that mm. because I literally mentioned in every video right. <laughs> ever. So it's paying off, Mason. Yeah, That's be good bad if it wasn't at all. Yeah, I know, right? If you if one person was like, "Yeah, I got it through James's YouTube videos," and there were ten thousand comments that were like, "Is his what? The what now? The what? A who? Ugh. Which one's James?" <laughs> Okay. Great. Mm. Oh, I was on an episode this week of uh, Movie Mania with Bandit Incorporated, a couple of his friends. Very nice. Um, and we talked about the summer, mo- sorry, the sp- the upcoming spring season of movies. Spring Love for it. us, autumn for everybody else. Bandit Incorporated, if you're listening, yeah. and if that is your real name, I it suspect is. it is, yep. uh, you also asked if I'd be on an episode a while back on Twitter and I lost the, the tweet and I it got it, it disappeared in the in the ether and I'm like oh I yeah. should respond to that but no <laughs> no I'll, I'll be on a bloody episode or something if you want me on for something yeah he's my, good my areas of expertise are, are they're good blokes yeah mm. uh, what else uh, that's about it I think yeah I'm on an episode of Do Go On about Elvis Presley that's not out yet so I'll mention it when it's out I look forward to seeing mm-hmm. it Mason yeah. mm-hmm. I look forward to bloody seeing it. All right. So, yeah, remember this Thursday. Hopefully, we'll let, there'll be something be up. Caravan of Garbage. That's right. Premiere. If it's not up. Big old premiere. It's because it's not ready. And the only So, reason, at Mr. Sunday yes. Movie, say, where is it? Well, Where's I'm not making it, but also, I don't want to put it out 
and then not and then fall behind on the other episodes. Mm. So I want to make sure they're ready to go so I can do one every Thursday. Yeah. And if I can't, then not I'm, I'm, I'm exactly pushing back a week. Brian Hurst on Twitter says, "I like cowboys and aliens." There, I said it. He Is did it good. Didn't he? Uh, it's fine. Great. <laughs> Uh, I don't really remember it. Nice. I remember it being not as good as I wanted it to Perfecto. be. Perfecto. <laughs> yeah. Summed it up nicely. Yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for subscribing. Subscribe where you get the extra con- con- content. That's true. Content. Oh, yeah. By the way, I might be putting, I will be putting it up on Patreon a little bit early. Nice. If Very I can. Nice. Yeah, nice. I mean, I will, uh-huh. but it just depends. You don't have to. You're going to get it regardless. Do whatever Running you want. Running a podcast is a bloody nightmare. Yeah. I say as someone who does nothing in, you know, about the admin, I just show up late. I show up late every week, but it's a bloody nightmare. It's not I'll a problem. What, imagine having to plan episodes and write things down and, and do stuff. Imagine that. It's God. a joy, Mason. Oh, maybe you should do some of it. It's a joy. No, I wouldn't want to deprive you of the joy, though, would I? <laughs> that's true, yeah, no, that's, that'd be mean. Don't that'd be the worst it, thing I could do. Don't take it away from me. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Grab that gem, you guys. Bye. Bye.